uh, welcome to uh, session one. Um, yeah, um, we've had some technical difficulties. This is the first time I've run a game uh, with six players um, since the new computer, and um, nothing was correct or ready for it. Um, that being said, uh, this is session one entitled The Lost Tomb. Um, last time we met, uh, we got together and we worked on building an adventuring party who we've effectively introduced um, and their motivations are pretty well clear. Um, they are... Uh, uh, not cop. <laughs> they are not cops. They don't run a town. <laughs> Um, Finally, not a cop. They are. They are. Hey, they, they are. They are royalty or nobility. They're just a bunch of, um, effectively bandits. Um, so, with that being said, um, you've traveled for a number of days, um, a six day, um, and have made your way into the sands of Panacea, which are very dry. Um, very unforgiving, very unrelenting as well, uh, but you come prepared. Um, it has not been issued to you in the session zero, but your group has a decanter of endless water. Whichever one of your group has that, please put it on your sheet. Feel free to fight amongst yourselves to determine who gets to have it. As a cave person? I feel like I would be ravenous for an endless water source. Sure. Yo, you got this. And that's just what I'm saying. I'm, Take I, it. Definitely, if anybody else wants to... Well, I mean, I'll I'm... probably fight anyone for anything, but... I'm good with that. Okay. Just say we'd do a roughhouse fight for it? Yes. There we go. So mm -hmm. then, um, please put that on your sheet. Also, I want okay. to note that at the beginning of the game earlier today, I mentioned in your side chats that you have a common magic item. Each one of you has been given a common magic item that I feel vibes well with your specifics. Um, you can, at this moment, and this moment alone, remove that item I've given you and get two potions of healing. No. Nah. Absolutely not. Absolutely nope. not. No. And give up my cool item? Never. <laughs> no. Okay. Yeah, it's just selfish. <laughs> Let's go. And I'm not going to give the people who are unable to reply that same opportunity. I already Cause... told them. They're not here. I want to work about about my fancy boot. So. Got to keep them for for optics. Got it. Okay. So that being said, each one of your items going into this game. And I just want to make sure you understand this is cursed. Okay, so those will be important later. Great. All of the subterfuge and shenanigans aside, after traveling for some time, you planned it so that after a long rest in um, the day, we'll conclude with you um, around evening time getting to the location of the lost tomb. You have been informed by a uh, member of the Checkered Scarves, one of the numerous guilds in Ordris, that this tomb uh, recently became unearthed due to seismic activity in the area. Um, and um, it's said to have ancient treasures from old Panacea a society that existed before um, the War of Sword and Serpent. Um, so this is ancient old stuff we're talking about here. This is thousands of years old. Um, you can see the ziggurat on the horizon. Uh, near to it um, is a structure that kind of rises up out of the sands, um, almost like a tower. Um, you stop there first as it's kind of immediately interceding your space. And it seems that this place could serve as a defensible location for you to set up camp um, and to kind of uh, resist the um, uh, climate, um, be it the sun, 
um, or the harsh winds that um, have a habit of sand spray. Um, but you have the ziggurat before you. Um, it looks like it has, um, you know, a diced uh, setup. You can see that there appear to be a number of tiers, um, three of them um, that are visible. If there are more beneath the sands, you can't be certain. Um, and the top of it um, appears to have uh, motifs of uh, sun symboling, um, basically old representational um, primitive worship of Atavius. The mentality in uh, older times, um, kind of the roots of religion for those who are religiously trained, which I don't think is anybody, but it's pretty common knowledge, um, is that the sun represents order and the darkness represents chaos. Um, that comes when yeah. it is not yeah. present. So, um, like I said, evening time, uh, probably nice kind of, you know, oranges and purples in the sky um, as it's uh, the sun is setting, and you can see the structure ahead of you um, as described. Um, so, what would you like to do? Not everyone out at once. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I don't know. I'm probably just like talking about random bullshit or like our last rift or whatever with mm. Faye. Gotcha. Yeah. Oh. Well. Perfect dish timing. Well, if I can leave this, then it's perfect. Okay, cool. And then it worked perfect. Great. I'm good at this. Okay. Um, so, Ziggurat. Um, mm -hmm. What are we talking about, Captain? Well. <laughs> <laughs> President. President. Yes. Sorry, sorry, sorry. President. Yeah, there we go. President. Oh, there we go. Well, uh... I don't care what means of you of getting treasure. I don't care if you have to cut throats. Well, we gotta be careful what's in there. As long as it doesn't get anybody killed, I don't give a shit on what you do in there. Just be cautious. And okay. try not to get too hurt. Okay. So, what you're noticing uh, plainly, Noel, is as you kind of inspect mm -hmm. the ziggurat, if there was an entrance that would have been a common entrance into the structure, it is either buried beneath the sands or it is hidden. Hmm. So what you're looking at is literally just a layer cake of rock with some sand on it. And if you would kindly all make a perception check, except for obviously you, Stephanie, you're not there yet. Perception. What happened? I'm great at this. I'm great at this. Oh my goodness, we have the technicals. Oops. Today. They, long story short, they just got here mm -hmm. and um, are looking for an entrance. That is all you have missed. And also me um, floundering, flopping around with uh, technical issues because God hates me. Or but we love you. Whichever. And that's all that matters. Pay no attention to right. the man behind the screen. <laughs> cool. Um, okay. So, um, did we get those perception checks? Perfect. Oh, so, yeah. Faye, you're kind of looking around as everyone's kind of gazing about. And from what you can see, um, there does appear to be a person on the ziggurat close to the top of it, on the top tier. And at this point, Stephanie, go ahead and describe your character as she would appear being looked at from hundreds of feet away at an upward angle um, in a bright, sunny desert. Shit, sorry, I'm not prepared for this. <laughs> like, I wasn't expecting to, like, Fair enough. I'm sorry. Fair enough. Um, uh, so you see I'm what like, appears yeah. to be a humanoid figure in um, robes, um, kind of flustering in the wind from a distance. 
does Faye um, describe that to us too? I'm guessing. No, Faye will only <laughs> lean over to Bay and say, "There's somebody up there," but whisper it so only they can hear. Mm. So if Bay okay. says or not, it's up to her. Hold on. Oh, wait, Magpie's gone? What the heck? What? Oh, no. Okay, since Magpie is not here, yes, I would say to the group. Um, well, be cautious. We don't know what they're doing. They might steal a treasure or a haul, but we'll see what they want first. Why is that happening? What? Okay. Go ahead and uh, close the character sheet, uh, Stephanie, and then refresh the browser and then open the character sheet again. Um, so, um, I missed the, <laughs> the bandit talk. What happened there? Oh, I was, I was saying... Uh, you go. No, no, I I didn't mean to speak over you. Just saying, we did do it again. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, seeing if they will describe what they see, and they said they said, and I was like, well, be careful. Um, be cautious with the. And might here they might be here to steal our hall, but let's see what they want first. Oh, I think my Zoom is being weird. Yeah, it seems like we're having all of the technicals all at once. Seems good. Um, okay, so do you as a group wish to approach the woman on the ziggurat? Is that what I'm getting from mm. you, Johnny? Yes, I want to see what she's up to. Okay, then... Do you wish to approach her to get an upper hand on her, like, stealthily? Or do you wish to just walk up with an intimidating presence so that it's seen that you're on the approach? Hmm. Hmm. Probably. I mean, I'm just going to see what the party would think of just seeing what they want to do first. Do it sneakily, or try to get the upper hand, or we just go up straight to her and talk to her, or them. There's someone up there. Yes. Starts walking. Oh, like. Okay. Okay. So yes. Stephanie, on your end, um, you, as we discussed, don't know how you got here. You just know that you have to get inside of this space. So what I would like from you is two things. First off, an investigation roll. And then second, a perception roll. Okay. Okay. So, with the investigation roll, you've searched for the better part of an hour on the ziggurat, and you do not know how to enter it. You know you have to, because there's something drawing you into it, but you have no idea how to do so. That said, on the opposite side of things, you turn around and you notice that a group of about five individuals who look like they are dressed for desert uh, travel, which you are not, uh, because you just kind of appeared here, um, appear to be heading up towards you. You are standing on a ziggurat, that is surrounded by sand as far as the eye can see. The only thing that has uh, kind of complicated the landscape is a strange tower-like structure about 300 feet that they appear to be exiting and moving away from towards your location. Do you wish to try and hide or do you wish to wait their approach? Um. So are they within like, could I like shout to them? Like could they reasonably hear me or is they too far it's windy 
Um, I don't remember if I gave you Thaumaturgy. I think I chose other spells for purpose. Oh, uh, yeah, I chose other spells for purpose. And it seems to have duplicated every single spell on your character sheet. Yeah. Hilarious. <laughs> uh, that is quite funny. Um, okay. Well, we'll deal with that later. Um, I would say no. Uh, you would know that yelling into the wind would basically uh, prove fruitless. Oh, we have my fucking thing. Cool. So we can get rid of this and then maybe do a little bit of that. Okay. Um, okay. So once they get up onto the ziggurat and start approaching, you might be able to get their uh, attention within a hundred or so feet. Okay. Well, I guess just maybe, like, I don't know, I'd want to greet them. I'd want, like, to, like, maybe wave or, like, make myself known. Um, okay. They don't, I don't generally feel like I should be scared of them, so. Okay. So this group of um, individuals approaches closer. Once they get a bit closer, um, we'll go ahead and do a quick description of characters. Obviously, there's some people who have drawings and some people who don't. Do not lean on the drawing so that we all have to be forced through description, you jerks. Um, <laughs> and uh, by next session, the last two of the doodles will be done. I've already started work on the fifth, um, and he'll be done uh, probably tomorrow. But um, we'll start with... Uh, the boss. Uh, I'm assuming you're leading from the front there, Johnny. So, uh, what mm -hmm. does Noel look like? Um, Noel is a tall, dragonborn uh, lad. He has dark topaz scales. He has blue eyes, two curved horns on his head. The one, his left horn is broken, broken off. He has a scar running across his right eye, and his like dark scales growing out of it too. It's kind of like it's rotting, some sorts. Um, his outfit basically is um. Well, he has a uh, wearing a bone tuned necklace here. He's wearing a fancy black robe, if it wasn't tattered and heavily worn. He has a skull of a raven in the middle of his butt bu uh, belt buckle. Pardon me. Um, yeah, that's pretty much a good gist of it. Yep, and I'd say he's probably fiddling with something in his mm. right hand, uh, which mm. um, again could be anything. Um, mm -hmm. Moving on to the twins, uh, whichever one of you two wish to uh, describe yourself first. They're both going to wait for the other one. I'll go. <laughs> so the uh... twins are identical um, with purple skin and yellow eyes and silverish hair. Uh, they're both cut to the same length. One has a scar hidden. Um, won't tell you which one, but one of them. Yeah. <laughs> has a hidden scar. Um, one is dressed darker than the other. Um, my character, Faye, has more color. And I carry a liar and Faye. And then, yeah, I am quieter, usually, and then just carry a short sword dagger and bow um yeah and for a fact um null is kind of leading from the front uh kind of at the head of the group the twins these drow women are right behind him and they seem yeah. to have kind of long cloaks that are matching but draped to one side or the other with the wind buffeting it as it is it looks like null has two massive dark wings kind of splaying out the back of him due to the drow's proximity to behind him. And then just behind oh. that, um, <laughs> you would have... Um, Zach's not here, I'll describe his character. Kind of harder to see, but um, seemingly like just a boulder of metal. Um, a um, dwarfish-looking individual who's carrying a shield that's um, set with two spikes, one on the bottom and one on the top. Um, bladed spikes. And then uh, John... Um, <clears throat> probably the lankiest Goliath you've ever seen. Uh, fallen behind, he's kind of got like a mullet <laughs> and a beard. And he just goes, oh, he just waving his arm. Waving back at you. The only one that seems to be yeah. actually He's got a big old fucking amulet on his chest. Which, since you're uh, religiously inclined, you know is one of the dwarvish powers. Uh, but I don't think I gave you religion trained. Um, 
because I'm a terrible DM. And I think that um, this has been a... Let me double check and see if I gave it to you or not. Uh, it's checked. Okay, fine. You would recognize it as Agathy, <laughs> the god of uh, giants and the god of strength and combat. Um, but yeah, I, I was thinking about not putting it on because the last two games, our clerics didn't have religion trained. And <laughs> I, I've, I've given them crap about it. And I was going to... I mean, I, I didn't have nature trained as a druid, so... Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I've, I can describe my character now, okay. too. I've, <laughs> I've set up. Um, so she's about uh, average to shorter height woman. Um, she has kind of like a like fluffy, um, almost like a bob. Um, and if you've ever seen like a, a jellyfish haircut, it's like a bob with like a longer length, like in the back. And that's tied off into two like sections. Um, and she's in like very almost like regal white and gold robes. Um, and she has a, uh, prosthetic arm that looks very, um, like armored, um, and she carries a large staff. And the staff at its cap? Um, it's a, uh, how do you pronounce the, uh, it's, it's the, uh, Tavian cross. Yeah. So, um, very clear indicators that this individual is an order bringer or some form of, um, uh, justice share for the god of law and chaos. Um, but she stands there at the top on your approach. Uh, no, I'm assuming you're going to be the one to speak for her group. Can't be Johnny hey making pudding. <laughs> hey, I'm not making pudding. No, oh. Johnny, I mean. You're Johnny. Yeah. John. <clears throat> hey, what are you doing there? Are you here to store a whole so get out. Wait, can you just like look at her attire? Yeah, she's a priestess. Um, mm -hmm. But um, I would say that um, actually, interesting point. Do you have history trained? Um, let me see. I don't think so, but let me go double check. If anyone I do not in this group who's looking at her has history trained. You can go ahead and roll a history check. If nobody does, I will just give a blanket kind of statement regarding what you're looking at. That is something that she is aware of as a player, but it's probably not something that um, would be indicative or kind of pointed. Nobody has history, mm -hmm. huh? No, I don't. Okay. She looks kind of out of fashion. The best we're way to describe that is... is like, it looks like her clothes are kind of old-timey. Yeah, it looks like she's not dressed to kind of current fashion, as you'd understand it for an order bringer. But again, I mean, it's the world of Dungeons & Dragons. A world in Dungeons & Dragons. What is fashion? Other what than is I fashion? Look, fashion? I look fucking <laughs> rad and I'm wearing it. And it gives me bonuses. All right, let's roll. <laughs> right. Right. The truest of mm. fashions. Bonuses to your stats. <laughs> <laughs> so go ahead. No. Where are you from, actually? He's gonna squint at her. Where did you come from? And why are you here? She kind of like pauses for a minute and then like kind of looks him up and down and says, Shouldn't you know where I'm from? <laughs> um, I wouldn't be asking you that if I did. Oh. Fair enough. And she's trying to like blow it off like maybe she doesn't know where she's from. Hmm. Do You're alone out here, aren't you? I am. Um I don't suppose you would know how to get into this uh building here, would you? Hmm. No. Uh, I just got here, but anyways, if I did, why? I need to know your purpose. Yeah, what's I tell your you business anything. here? Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's just like, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> panicking. <laughs> like, uh, not panicking. Like, she's trying to remain cool, but like, um, I don't think she fully knows how to answer that, and so she's kind of just like drawing at straws, basically. Mm -hmm. Man, I know you just didn't end up here on, on accident. I mean, what is the chances of that happening? Well, to be honest, 
um, that might actually be exactly what happened. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, you were wandering around, or you just, like, well, appeared? funny you should ask. I woke up, and here I am. <laughs> oh, I hate when that happens. Mm. It's very, um, inconvenient, to say the least. Hmm. So what's the last thing you remember? <laughs> Dramatic pregnant pause. <laughs> I seem to remember maybe like a castle. Um, and then she kind of just like pauses, like almost um, like a face of like multiple strings of memories kind of converging at once that are just kind of confusing um it just like dissociates a little bit like that's really about it hmm so the heat's yeah. getting to your head or that you might very well be i think i'm a little um dehydrated to tell you the truth hmm. well that big guy's got some water Oh, you're thirsty, y'all. <laughs> Don't. Don't, Don't go on full blast again. Oh. What? Don't go on full blast again. <laughs> Don't go on full blast. Oh, you just turn. <laughs> yeah, because if you nozzle it, it like shoots. Uh, oh, yeah. A string of like pressure. Like, but anyway. It's like a ge geyser, right? Yeah, 100%. He, he would have totally <laughs> forgot. He would have totally forgot. Yeah. Um, yes. Thank. Opens it and just like blasts her across the fucking ground. Since <laughs> you and um, uh, Bay were kind of like right behind Noel, uh, but you were kind of quietly, kind of just attentively watching, and Bay had chimed in a little bit. Um, you kind of lean over to the side, getting a very strange vibe about the structure. Um, and you also notice that at about that time, Drumgar, uh, the dwarf, kind of like starts tapping his foot on the stone structure. And Zach, real quick, uh, I kind of loosely described your character. Um, if you want to do a more uh, uh, precise description of your character, you can. Uh, the only thing that I would mention is that he definitely looks old, like the age is worn into his face and um, hidden to his skin. And did you mention the helmet that he had on? Yep. Okay. Yeah, oh, I don't know if you saw in your side chat, but I'm drawing Yes, him. yes, yes, yes. Yeah, he's yes. coming along pretty well. Ooh. Yes. Cool. Um, it's like a Galactus bucket helm. I love it. Um, so <laughs> you have stone cutting, which in 5th edition doesn't really have the same connotations as it did in old games, and I'm a million years old, so I still kind of like loosely just trade it the way it was. Um, but stone cutting tells you that where you're standing, it appears that it is hollow beneath you, the steps... Uh, which would indicate to you that there's some way of entering into the steps. And as you're kind of, like, catching that, Faye, you realize that there is a secret door on the side of the steps. So the steps go up, and then there's, like, a tier around from where they begin. The stairs aren't all the way around because it's a ziggurat. So as you kind of move down the steps and move around, you come to the wall and can feel that there is a hidden door. I'm going to move us to a map, the music will change, and then I'll snap ping us, and tell me if you can see or not. Mm -hmm. I can see. Yeah. Okay. So once we get inside, it'll be a light situation, and I believe the current light bearer is um, Null, I think. I set him up to be a... Yeah, Null is a light bearer. If you wish to have a light and do not have 120 dark vision like most then you can certainly um, ask for it, and I'll grant it if you utilize a spell or function. But the I door... hate to be the problem child, but I don't see anything. Oh, right. <laughs> it's you're all black. On... You're not on there yet. Sorry. Um, vision. Save settings. Now. Um, I just need to shorthand the name. And then hit points. Armor class and speed and compact save and snap. 
You see? Stephanie, you good? Yep, we're good. Okay. So the door opens um, and would allow for an inward um, entry into the stairs. Secret, hello. As, as you push the door open on the ground, um, there appears to be a very strangely red-skinned individual. And when I say, like, red-skinned and strangely, I don't mean, like, a tiefling or something. Oh, what happened? What? What mm -hmm. is happening? Did Johnny just fall off? Yes. Okay, we are having... Fun time today, guys. Struggle. Coming so in. sorry. It's not just you. <laughs> Don't worry about it. If it was just you, I dropped the ball. I dropped the ball. Like, the ball. My yeah. internet went out for like. Yeah, we all drop the ball sometimes. It, it, listen, Stephanie. If it was just you, I would definitely give you shit. But everyone seems to be having problems, so you're lucky this time. <laughs> Narr narrowly avoided it. <laughs> Woohoo! Solidarity. Oh, that's a picture of me, and I didn't. We want can't that. all be in trouble. <laughs> right. I, I put us all in jail. I don't have it. I don't have it with oh, me man. to uh <laughs> Okay, there. Temporary fix. Um so um the creature in question um appears to have had its skin burned heavily. Um and when it's when I say burned, I don't mean like by fire, I mean like by heat. Um you as a group, um I I, I think I've collectively drew everyone with the exception of the Goliath as having kind of like a cloak of some sort. Uh, this was intentional. Um, the dwarf I'm currently drawing um, has a lot of his under armor removed because uh, heat. Um, and the Goliath, as you can see, just went shirtless because fuck it. Um, so you, fuck. you are very much dressed for the occasion. Um, this guy does not look like he was. Um, and uh, he has kind of in his grasp, a larger-than-normal humanoid skull that appears to only have a single eye to it and, like, needle-like teeth instead of regular teeth. He's holding the skull? What's that he got? There? Yeah, so his, like, burned flesh, his hand is kind of, like, just tightly constricted on, like, um... I would say, like, you know how there's, like, a hold where the spine goes? <laughs> it's, like, holding there. Mm -hmm. Like, he was intentionally carrying it. Is it... He's alive, right? No, no, no. <laughs> no oh, okay, okay. No, he, uh... He also probably emits a bit of a smell. Um, which... Strange, strange, uh, turn about, uh, play for you, Stephanie, all last campaign. You couldn't smell anything that was happening, so... Uh, oh boy, I get I to be hit back. with the barrage of smells. Yay. <laughs> it's just hey, like what? Gen Con. It's just like Gen Con. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh my god. What about smells? Uh, oh dear. Um, but yeah. Corpse. Sunburnt. <laughs> the armor that uh, he's wearing appears to be leathers. Um, and he is holding a skull that is larger than normal size. That appears to only have a single eye socket. And needle-like teeth instead of humanoid-like teeth. Try to identify what that is. Sure. If you have uh -oh, Arcana, stinky. if you have Arcana trained, you will know immediately. Okay. Do you have Arcana trained? Yep. It is a Nothic. Uh, Nothic is a type of aberration. Its gaze is set to confuse and to stun. Um, that. Creature... Oh, I do as well. Yeah, then you would know the same. Um, Nothics are aberrant creatures. They come from the far plane. Um, they also have close associations with certain uh, entities uh, in the Feywild. Um, and they uh, are said to be related in some way or form to Fomorians, which are evil-eyed giants in the Feywild. So, Noel will uh, describe that to all those around him. And was there any... Did we check for any loot on the body? Nobody has, that... other than a skull. Mm. I would like to check the body out. Investigation. Yeah. Usually the complete, right, boss? Mm-hmm. Right. Okay. Um, so... <laughs> oh, no. 
Huh. It's the body. Okay. I think. So, hmm. um, I'm going to need you to make a constitution saving throw, okay? And take one point of damage. Oh. Hold on. My computer's thinking. No worries. As long as it does just that and doesn't explode, we'll be okay. Oh no! All right. So you're going to take this is off to a great start. You're going to take three points of poison damage, and you have the poisoned condition for one hour. What happens as you watch is she starts kind of going through the pockets of the sun baked individual, and uh, very quickly and suddenly from underneath its hip. You see a flash of black kind of slam into your hand and kind of connect onto you. You immediately throw your hand to the side and you watch as a scorpion flies across the way and hits the wall with kind of a sickening. Um, but you, it's too late. You feel the poison in your veins and you feel yourself kind of immediately kind of fatigued. Mm. Is the scorpion still alive? No, 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 no. Oh, okay. I'm assuming... Also, I it was an immediate kind of. I have a random snack. question. Go ahead. How oh, am I not trained in sleight of hand? How did I fuck that up? I don't know. Skills, I suppose. <laughs> so then, yeah, moving along. <laughs> um, it does not appear that there's anything on that oh. body, with the exception of the leather armor. Uh, which does not look like it's a, a great material, and it also looks like it's kind of built for a uh, medium-sized humanoid figure. Everyone else is either kind of smaller than just a guy or much bigger than just a guy. So, And then the Nothic skull. But you need to be more cautious next time doing these things. Oh, you're right, though. No, I just, just don't know how I fucked that up. Hmm. If you need to switch something out for a uh, sleight of hand, you can. Um. I don't know. I don't. Wouldn't even know how to do that. Yeah. Um. Okay. No worries then. Um. So yeah, it looks like there's a hallway and uh, ahead of you, and the hallway kind of leans off to the left. Hmm. No, actually, can I take the skull? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. He's gonna do that. So the skull weighs about five pounds, and it's about the size of like a basketball, with with a jaw oh. attached. So oh, again, okay. if you want to take it, um, you can. Um, if you have a sack, um, totally capable of fitting. Uh, backpack, it would definitely take up a lot of space in your backpack. So if it's already full of contents, not so much. If you have a rope, you could tie it to something, so it could just hang off of you. Totally fine. Yeah, he would do that. Okay. Get the rope and let it hang. It's pretty cool, boss. Pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> so I want it. Well. Now no, you're dressing with skulls, huh? <laughs> uh, it's my style. I love skulls. Well, it's quite the choice, to say the very least. Mm -hmm. Very fashionable. At least, in my opinion, it is. As you kind of step away from it, you can definitely hear the jaw kind of clacking still. When you kind of lift the skull up to take a look at it, it does look like there's still sinew kind of connected inside, um, kind of holding the jaw into its kind of slotted spot. If you want to just pull, you can rip the jaw off and discard it so it doesn't cause you problems moving forward. Um, but just for mm -hmm. pacing uh, purposes, does anybody wish to move into the doorway in advance? <laughs> <laughs> no. We can, Not a soul. we can certainly spend the whole campaign right here. I'm okay with it. I can make that happen. I can't promise can it's I going peek, to be the I most riveting. The uh, so can the I hallway, peek the hallway? That's not the hallway. This is the hallway. Oh, fuck. <laughs> You're outside. Can I, can going I peek the hallway? lights down the hallway? Yeah. You can go through. The door's open. You can go into the hallway. Absolutely. Re totally fine with that. I just want to throw dancing lights down the hallway. It's just really... Oh, God. I fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> there, thank you. So... So oh, um, you don't have your own God. light source. Do you wish to create a light source? Who doesn't have a light source? John. Me. Do you wish uh, to create a light source? I can't. You don't have a torch. I can. I mean, I. 
Can I just dancing lights around him? Yeah, sure. Wait. Well, I'm just gonna wait. Okay, no <laughs> lights gonna... for you then. <laughs> so, uh, lights Faye, out. you enter in and move forward. You can see around the corner. If you come around to the uh, front of it, you will see. Well, we got there, folks. Um, <laughs> an intricately carved stone door. It has a bas relief, which basically is an engraving to kind of create the illusion of like a three dimensional figure kind of jutting out at you. The figure in question is what appears to be a red dragon. It is not colored that way, it is just depicted that way. Its hands are out like this, its wings take up the entire top half of the relief, and beneath its hands, kind of set in the center, is a humanoid figure that appears to be depicted in old style regalia with his hand out holding an orb and on top of his head a strange crown that looks like it's made out of brambles or like twigs hmm. can we make out who that might be none of you have history drink oh <laughs> yeah <laughs> um, Great. Aveline, if we you, are scoundrels, if you do yeah. step to the front of it and see it, you'll recognize the figure immediately. The yeah. <laughs> figure is Golfias Tornor, Lieutenant of Ashmedea, the Dragon Queen. Can I go ahead and tell them that? If you wish to. Go yeah, awesome. she should go ahead and do that. No, we didn't. Oh my god. <laughs> We lost somebody. We lost Magpie. Oh my oh. God. We just had technical difficulties today. Aren't we? Can best. I turn on a torch, pretty please? Yeah, you can. Hold on. <laughs> oh, sorry. I can light. I can light my like staff with my cantrip. That's okay. I'm just gonna walk in the dark. I got it. I'm gonna <laughs> do need to do that. <laughs> it's all right. I live to get. Oh, hits right into the fucking side. <laughs> You you should probably he's, take. You can see years, that wall. Spent, he's talking. He's been using caves. <laughs> he's talking into another confidently, wall. and drum guards just watching him walk right into a wall. <laughs> I was like, no he's one's, bouncing off, you know, like the no one's gonna just falling. No one's gonna face palm. Oh, I got it. Don't you worry. Fuck. So, um, the uh, light situation is rectified, but I will advise. Um, in where you have a uh, torch lit, um, Aveline, you cause light to um, blast onto your um, Atavian cross, and uh, Null, you have a light source as well. I'm assuming some kind of lantern or torch. Um, yeah. So all well lit. Uh, in where you kind of look at the structure, but this being a door, a door that may very well be trapped. As a group, do you have someone you would push to the front who is currently having technical difficulties? <laughs> yeah, I thought so. So I'm going to go ahead and move her to the front, and she's going to tell you it doesn't appear to be trapped. All you have to do is push to open it. Okay. So whoever would like to go first, all you have to do is click the door, and you can do it. Oh. Evelyn's kind of like standing in front of that like portrait a little bit, just like contemplating something. A uh, bunch of pansies, the lot of you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <duh. laughs> Inside of this space that you enter into, you see what appear to be three holes in the ground. Um, and they appear to have kind of a support structure that rides up to the ceiling, which is currently blocking your view. Uh, a bit, um, but um, when you come to look at them, what you will realize is that they have ladders that descend down into holes from these support structures, kind of internally inside of the columns. Does that make sense to you, Zach? Mm -hmm. So there are a total of three of them, and if you do with your 120 dark pitch and a quick like look into each one of them, they all appear to go to the same room because you can see the ladders in each one of their own holes. You, you understand what I mean mm. by that, right? You can see yeah, they, the ladder. They all, the yeah, they all seem to go down the same distance to the That's same right. spot, as opposed to like landing in different levels or rooms. And if you'd like, you can mm. make a perception check just to see if there's anything else you can ferret out of the space below. Can you stop? 
Yeah, so you will see what appear to be occasional lights. Um, and being a subterranean dweller, you would recognize these as fire beetles. They are mostly harmless and typically act as um, kind of uh, light sources um, mm -hmm. for most folk. Um, although if they are not uh, fed properly, they may become feral. Uh, so it could be the case that the three of them that you can spot from up here, um, if they haven't been fed by someone, might be uh, grumpy. Hmm. What? Will Drumgar say that to us or no? Nope. Uh, <laughs> Drumgar is going to take one of his rations out and toss it down the hole and see what the beetles do. Sure. Hmm. So it looks like two of them kind of move towards it, and the third one on the other side of the room doesn't really move at all. Um, and they start kind of working together um, and fighting together um, at getting the food. What was that all about, Jumgar? He just threw perfect good rations down there. I was trying to see what these beetles will do. Man, your voice. Mm. <laughs> your, accent, your accent's changed a couple times. In a I know. It's. I can't find it yet. It's <laughs> going to take like two or three weeks for me to fucking nail this thing down, and I apologize. It's okay. Got some it's beetles in there. You're going to have to work with me. <laughs> We're gonna yeah. fight it together. Could Aveline go ahead and just like try and zap those bugs? Um, yeah, absolutely. Um, you can. Uh, what spell are you utilizing? Let's see. I think Holy Lance. Okay, no need to roll. Mm -hmm. uh, if you fire down while they're eating, um, you hit one, just cracks it in half. Um, the light uh, in it. If you've ever, unfortunately, uh, killed a firefly. Uh, the bright red glow of it will be similar to like the green glow of a firefly as it dies out Aww. and you can see the substance of it kind of ooze out the other one doesn't seem to notice and gets the ration um and just kind of like starts eating it that's so sad hmm. i don't know why i did that i'm sorry <laughs> hey that's all right i like your choices i like your choices <laughs> Purple, I'm less to deal with mm-hmm if we I need to. And Kenny, I don't know if anybody else is catching this, but it seems like your audio is coming in from somewhere else. Am I a crazy person? Hmm. Hold on. Maybe. Am I wrong, John? Maybe, maybe uh, like via their my our camera. Can you hear me now? Same. It's the same. Yeah, it's the same. Uh, you just sound nice. echoier than I remember you being. Yeah, I just. Now, now that you mention it. A little bit. Yeah, like, just, yeah it yeah. is a bit weird. Yeah. Yeah, normally she's crisp and clear. I was just like, if you go to your audio, a little carrot. What options do you got for your mic? Sorry, just had to throw you into the technical difficulties. Crew. Is that better? Yes, hundred yeah, percent. Much yeah, better. There we go. Much better. And then much, much better. I think maybe when you switch your camera on, it switched it over to it. But again, I, yeah. I mean, I appreciate the camera being on. It's Zoom. Awesome to see I people. swear to God. Um, I'll fix it next time. No worries. Um, okay. So, um, two beetles, one doesn't seem to be reacting to anything, one is eating the food, obviously there's no emotional response to its, uh, friend being murdered. Do you wish to descend the ladders? Has anybody gone past the holes? No, oh, I see gone down there. the holes, no. Did we see anything like behind all, them here? All no, through the okay. completely have empty bugs. room. There's three cylinders that go up columns that seem to be supporting the top, the roof. But inside Which... of these column structures, there's like a doorway, and in that doorway, there's a ladder that descends down. The columns Which... don't go all the way down. They're just ladders that go down into a larger room beneath you. Go ahead, John. Which hole did? They fire down slash throw ration. They're down. currently at this one. Okay. If he peeks down that one, he probably sees pitch black. Yeah, it seems that your firelight um, doesn't really get much. Um, it's about 30 feet down, so you're just really seeing things in dim light. But the fire that's beetles right. are occasionally pulsing, uh, especially the one that's eating because he's very happy. Um, and you can see the kind of like waning 
glow of the fire beetle that was blasted in half by a holy lance. <laughs> That's so sad. I'm sorry, that was unnecessarily violent of me. I apologize. Oh no, that, I commend it, actually. I prefer you doing that other than giving it rash. Real, real quick, but... let's let's point out a dichotomy here real quick, Stephanie. <laughs> Johnny is a good time boy. He is a huge fan of animals. In fact, it's his uh, college course focus. And mm. uh, prof- <laughs> soon to be profession, I presume. Um, but his character is an asshole. <laughs> so you're going to have Johnny, when he's talking in Johnny voice, um, be sympathetic, caring, a wonderful guy. Uh, but he's going to force himself to try and not be those things. And we're all going to be laughing at him. He's trying so hard. The whole time. Oh, good, practic- good for him. I believe in you. I, I've been practicing in the mirror for this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's okay. That's my, let, that's my fucking favorite. Let your inner asshole live. Like, let them thrive. <laughs> I'm trying. Wait, yes. Spread that asshole for everybody, for Johnny. Hold on. Hold I mean, on. Put this wait. All right. All right. All right. Hold on. <laughs> hold on. Before, that's before, not what I said. Uh, moving, oh, away, moving away from that, Zach. But hold Sorry. on. To put it more into future, like further perspective, just so you understand how much of a good time boy Johnny is. Last campaign, the joke was. He did not know what a succubus was, yeah. and I showed Aww. him. <laughs> you sweet summer child. Oh, you hit him with the awe. <laughs> okay. We're back online. Um, Magpie, what you missed is you found the entrance to the door, and you also learned that there's... Or, yeah, you found the entrance was uh, untrapped. So, ladders. Does anybody want to just send them? Sure, why not? Okay, great. So, Noel, you head down, um, and you enter into a space. I'm snapping you. Um, as you continue down, you can see this fire beetle near uh, this dead one is eating. And this one over here is just kind of hanging out. What you see mm-hmm. as you come down uh, with your light source is that this appears to be some sort of workshop. There's a uh, anvil. Um, there is a, um, uh, a forge, um, smithing tools and the like, and there's also just kind of scattered debris and dirt and dust and charcoal and bits all about the floor. Um, mm. No real signs of life, though, strangely. There doesn't appear to be any footprints in the dirt. It's very just kind of left here. That is to say, mm. the forge, though seems to still be lit hmm. oh my god that's odd okay um is there magpie oh, hold on new plan somebody type to magpie in the chat um to jump in the discord voice hey and everyone else if you would be so kind as to jump into the discord voice here we go. And mute right. yourself in Zoom, so <laughs> there's no echo. I'm so happy. Hello. Hello. Howdy. Hey. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're missing Magpie. Once she Do gets I in. Sound okay. I'm here. Yeah. You sound great. Okay. Okay. Good. Wonderful. Great A. Fantastic. Does anybody yeah, else? Doing great. Wait, I lied. It's echoey. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We 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 all lied. <laughs> it sounded great at first. I don't know why. I, I was just going with whatever you were saying. Honestly, Johnny. I think it's because you were leaned forward and yeah. closer to your whatever camera mic. mic. And then when been... you leaned back, it just like made it way echoier in the room. Everyone um, sounds perfect to me. And yes, echoier is a word. <laughs> well, you got cool heads. Right, I got so now cool you have no. Well, now you have to check here that. Yeah. The different. Uh, Would you go inputs. into user settings and then scroll down mm-hmm. to. And we're certainly going to get stuff done. Uh, voice, voice and, and audio. Apps. Yeah, voice and video and then Your input and device. Yeah. You might have to change that. Oh, no. She's so trying again. Way. What is it? Hold on. Magpie, just. <laughs> Magpie. <laughs> Magpie, just j- jump, in, jump into Discord voice. That way you're not training your computer with Zoom. Okay. Because it keeps blowing up. I'm sorry, don't give me a sad face. Okay. (laughs) 
<laughs> Sorry, your computer is not having it today, and I just so I want you to you roll like play with us through so. that web camera. And yeah, I love it's, you. it's I'm, I'm sorry, it's not your fault. It is your computer. It is your computer's fault. I just want you to play, and so this seems like the best way, right? Do you agree, Magpie? Yeah. Okay, great. So moving on, Null, you went down. Do you go all the way to the ground level then? Yeah. Okay. When you do, um, you do notice that your footprints are being left in the dust on the ground. Mm -hmm. But you do not seem to be assaulted or assailed by the creatures. And with the light that they are emitting, you can see that there are three doors in this place. Okay. And you said something with the forge, right? Uh, Is this um, continuing? Right. So the forge here, that seems yeah. to be glowing. Uh, warm uh, like it's ready for use hmm. okay. and i'll head down shortly after okay well, welcome you pop down the door or the forge in question looks like it is not of dwarvish make um certainly not of dwargar make either um, it definitely looks like it is uh, very outdated, uh, very uh, rudimentary. Does it look recently used? No. But it's still lit though, right? Correct. Is that like, uh, can I make an arcana check to see if that's like magically lit to continue? Um, so looking at it and inspecting it more thoroughly, it looks like whatever the heat source is, um, uh, isn't normal. Um, it looks like it is some sort of elemental moat that is currently burning, mm. um, inside of this forge. Okay. You just wait for the others to get down then. Okay. Who else is going down? Uh, I I don't want to be alone, so I'm going to go. Okay. I'll go down. Okay. When Faye goes down, I go down. Got it. <laughs> and then lastly, but not leastly, in where you'll head down. Right? John? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, down okay. there. Let me get down there. So you're all down in this space. <laughs> Three doors. Fire beetle. This one is eating. This one is not. Just seems to be kind of like occasionally sporadically moving, but it doesn't really seem to be doing anything that would be untoward. Um, and that's it. No one's going to bring up about the footprints. Make sure you cover them when we leave this room. Leave no tracks. What? Cover them with what? Because we make tracks where you like in this room, right? Yeah, the uh, floor is covered with soot and dust, and as you move around, it seems that um, it uh, is leaving tracks. Hmm. Okay. So, uh, which door do you guys want to go through here? Top left, the middle, and the right, or the bottom left. I would I like think we to point out that when I walk through the dust, my footprints look exactly like Johnny. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> what? Did I notice that? What? You would know this already. She can make her tracks look different. Hmm. <laughs> Very interesting. But please, I'm... don't do that. <laughs> In a way, it's just not what? even caring about it. He just doesn't... It's like, that's stupid. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. No, it's pretty helpful, but just don't let it be mine, at least. I don't care if you do it for anybody else, but me... Don't do that. Be mine if you want. <laughs> hmm. Which one are you? Was that Bay that did that? Or was that Bay? Oh, yeah. <laughs> that one. <laughs> hmm. 
love you. <laughs> oh my god. Can you guys both do that? <laughs> Can you both do that? Maybe. <laughs> Fuck, you think they're gonna tell you? <laughs> they, they will cross their arms and just look at Noel defiantly. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. Whatever, let's just continue. <laughs> Makes sense. Well, let's just continue. Which door do you guys want to go through? As a collective. Here's one. Okay, so Aveline, you walk over to the door. You should be able to open it um, by your own power. Um, and when you do so, um, it'll open to a hallway. Uh, the hallway in question. Um, are you able to open that door? There you go. Yep. Uh, perfect. Um, it appears that the hallway continues to a terminus with a T, um, so left and right, and then you have two doors, one on your right, one on your left. The door on your left appears to be made out of wood um, and reinforced with iron. Uh, the door on your right appears to be made out of stone, um, but it looks like it might have cracks through it. Um, both of them have very similar kind of handle mechanisms. Uh, which would be very familiar to you, just kind of a latch mechanism for opening, and they do not appear to have locks. However, the wooden door on the left, the reinforced door, is barred. But it is barred from your side, as if it's barring something inside from getting out. Well, I'm just going to open up the door that uh, does not look scary. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so as you, the other door for me. <laughs> as you open up the door, um, you p kind of open it and push it, um, and it breaks. The door stone structure, the cracks in it seem to have been so kind of complete that just any kind of motion of the door causes the stone to shatter. <laughs> we can't be a bad boy. We can't be bad. We can't. Yeah. Yeah. Am I good? I can. I'm not a robot. You're coming through here, yep. but Twitch is still loading on my end. Yeah. You know what it is. Johnny's I mean, need is wine. too good at being this bad. <laughs> He's just way too good at being bad. Yeah. Just too good at it being bad. <laughs> there it goes. Okay, so I guess yeah. I'm gonna have to rectify that issue. Um. To the point, Drumgar, the door breaks uh, at Aveline's opening. And then a loud and sudden thud slams against the wooden door that you're at. Um, you would see that the bar that is holding it splinters in the middle. Like one or maybe two more thuds from whatever's on the other side will open it. Did you get all that? No? Zach? Say it again. Oh my god. Sorry. <laughs> Did you hear me, Zach, or no? No. Okay. You hear, the second the stone door crushes, there's a very loud thud on the wooden door that you moved nearer. Ah. Uh. And the bar that's holding it shut splinters at the point where it'll break. Kind of like the not the middle, but like near the opening portion, and you feel that one or two more hits like that will cause the bar to break. Um, can I try to reinforce the bar with my shield? Yeah. So go ahead and make a strength athletics check. <clears throat> 17. Okay. So as long as you hold your position there and for mechanical purposes continue to use your action, um, mm the next few thuds, you'll realize that um, it will not get out so long as you remain. Uh, if it thuds a second time after I've braced the door, on the second thud is when Drumgar turns and says, We, uh, we might have company here in a minute. Okay. Hmm. Aveline, you step into the room. Um, and Faye, you're... Or sorry, Faye, you're close behind. Um, what would you like to do? If anything. Magpie, you die again. Oh, 
Oh, is it me? Am I the one? Uh, we, I can hear you. Yeah, we can hear you loud and clear. Is Magpie still there? If you are, you're muted. I don't see a Magpie. She's in Discord. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I see. She's just not talking. It's just not lighting up. Okay, that's a great part about having twins. Twin swap. <laughs> Bay, you're the one that was actually closer up front, not 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 Bay. So, um, is there anything you want to do? Uh, I'll come in the room too. Okay. So, Aveline and uh, Faye, the two of you enter into this room. Um, it looks like it is just a kind of uh, quarters. Um, however, sitting on the table uh, is a holy symbol that appears to be. A Atavian cross with a raven perched on top of it. This doesn't match the description of the icon that you're seeking, the raven icon, but it does look like there is a notable uh, religious practice kind of uh, established here that um, is raven centric. But it has an Octavian cross, like which was. Yeah. Uh, so the best way to describe it would be like. It's like a base made out of, uh, you know, just uh, semi-precious metal. And then the cross kind of comes up out of it. So it's like seated on there, almost like a, a, a religious kind of like, a, oh my God, what's the name of it? Like an altar piece. Um, mm. And then the cross at the top of it, there's a raven kind of on top of it. Kind of like the eagles at the top of flags for America, right? But raven. Uh gonna look at Aveline. Is this your room? Huh? <laughs> Why would you think I... This is my room? The, no uh, door thuds again, Drumgar. Uh, do you look to any of the others for assistance? Uh, I, I called out that they're, we're gonna have company mm -hmm. soon, and I'm just holding the door. So, I Null and Inwear, mm -hmm. do either of you two help? Yeah, closer. Okay. I don't know where I hold it. No, just, go ahead gonna... and make a perception check since you're moving to that position specifically. Okay. I, I could cut, try to help. Uh, you said perception? Perception, perception, yeah. Okay. Okay. So you don't notice it until it's too late, but you watch as or you're helping. You're doing your best to help. But three individuals come around the corner that you can see and they appear to be wearing robes um that are kind of like a dark brown um and they are wearing masks over their face the masks that they wear appear to be kind of a uh, bearded man uh, and the robes they wear are sky blue on their belts and on their kind of uh cloak ornamentations is an Atavian cross, but instead of having a raven at its top, the left and right points of the cross have weights, so it's almost like a scale instead. Yeah. Um, and these individuals come out, and they appear to just kind of drop their maces down to the side, and in doing so, lightning pulses at their heads. They do not look like they're ready for conversation. It looks like they are ready for action. I would like for everyone who is here to go ahead and make an initiative. Let's role. go. Let's go. <clears throat> All right, sweet. Push initiative. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> boop, boop, boop. Oh, I for oh no, I did it. <laughs> no. What? Am I mistaken? Do you not have an Octavian cross on you somewhere? You, she. Know. she she does, but... Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> He's as... Like, He's gaslight her. gatekeep girl boss. I believe okay. that's how it's done. We love it. We love it. Yeah. 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 But also, the room is filthy. Why would she sleep there? <laughs> I don't know. Everyone on there? Found outside. I think so. <laughs> Bay, you hear the sound outside, but because of your positioning, you will be surprised for the first round of combat. Um, you definitely realize that something is happening outside that isn't good. 
Uh, Drumgar, you're up. Your action, if not used this turn, uh, will be forfeited from the uh, the door. So if your action is holding the door, we'll keep it there. But if not, then um, we'll deal with that repercussion uh, as the initiative tracker continues. No, that that'll that'll be my action. But he'll turn to the others and say, "I've got the door. To fight them off." <laughs> Bay, you no, see um, the gentleman I described uh, come around the corner, and I don't know if your mic's working now. Is it? I saw a flash. Yeah. Okay, perfect. So you definitely see that there's three of them, um, kind of right around the corner there, and they have maces that are uh, older and styling and cackling with lightning at their heads. What would you like to do? I would like to attack the first guy. Okay. Nice. Um... And then, like... Okay, that'll hit. Um, since he hasn't acted this turn and isn't really move. aware of your conflict, you can go ahead and roll a d6 as well for sneak attack. Okay, so as he comes around the corner, kind of throws his hand down to the side with the lightning, you kind of just quickly bows out, arrows flying, slams into the mask and right through the eye hole. His body just kind of, like, <laughs> and he falls to the ground, but you can still hear the sound. And then of... I just slide back <laughs> into the room, and you kind of look at Faye, and yeah. she kind of looks at you. And in that moment, you both realize the like you knew the fight was there, but Faye is for sure locked in now. Um, in where <laughs> you are up, you are helping with the door. Um, if you want to continue to do so, you can use your action to do that, or you can move to conflict. I moved to conflict. Alright. This guy's dead. His friends are not. <laughs> Let's see. You think a 15 foot cone will wrap around that corner? If I'm in this spot? Or do I need to get like... No, wait. Would that work? So you can get move to through there. your allies. So one, two, three to get there. And you don't have to go next to him to be there. So you just kind of yep. move along Drumgar and Null and then step to there. Um, with your Null. positioning and your light, you can see these ones back here, right? Fuck. There appear to be more, we got more coming, coming. And from the sounds of it, another door is being opened in this moment, presumably with even more still. So that was what? 5, 10, 15. And then I will, at these two, I will do Felcar's Vile Wind. Fart so they make something pretty much. Oh my god, <laughs> it's a fart. Okay, it's a fart. So, con save and throw from them. Uh, let's go. And for those who are curious, Ben Gar's Vile Wind comes from uh, Mystical Archives, which our uh, friends here are able to use in Roll 20 due to our uh, conversion of it. Um, it is now available Woo. for Roll 20 use. Yep. Um, yep, yep, yep. It's it's definitely awesome. Um, okay, so what's your save DC? 13? Um, okay, and then I'm yep. going to need some damage there, so go ahead and roll 3d4. Perfect. Uh, no, that first one no, was just 3d4. One, <laughs> yeah, that's sad. That's, I, I thought that's... 3. I thought 3d4. Yeah, I, yeah no, oh, you saw 4 and you're times. like, there's no way I got 4 on 3 dice, and no, you sure did. <laughs> um, oh. Okay, so they're slightly maligned by the damage, um, but... Um, they are not dead. Um, they do have the funk. disgruntled. They do have a funk about them, which means they cannot get their hit points back. And, um, and then I move fifteen feet through back to the other side where I was. Okay. Um, Aveline, similarly to Faye, because you were in the room, kind of exploring it when the fights broke out, uh, you'll be surprised. It'll go to them. In for his reaction when they got close, um, he's gonna cast a spell called uh, Repulse. 
Okay. Nine. So that'll happen for the first one. It's for the first target, not all targets. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I got you. Repulse is another Wait. spell from said archive. Okay, so as it rushes forward, you kind of pulse the energy, and you watch him kind of, like, push forward. His cloak flies back, but he presses through the repulsion. So, okay. um, he passed his save. Uh, save will uh, mean that nothing happens for them. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, so then they'll move up, and so will they, too. And you will hear the footfalls of at least half a dozen other individuals coming up the way as well. Seems like you have rattled the hornet's nest, so to speak. And you hear a voice speak in a language that none of you know. Um, and it sounds very authoritative, like possibly like he's barking out orders um, in this very strange language. Um, okay, so one, two, three. All of them are going to attack Null. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the first one will strike you across the chest. The other two will miss. Mm -hmm. um, you will take a total of four piercing and four lightning damage. Four piercing? Yes. Four piercing and what? Four lightning. Four lightning, so eight all together. Yep. And does this knock you below half your hit point total? I believe it does. Okay, so yeah. as we will be progressing this game in a month to the new edition, uh, we are going to continue to use the wording that I've used in our games because it's a 4th edition staple, but will now become a 5th edition staple. You are bloodied. Mm -hmm. So, uh, okay. Drumgar, you watch as the strike across his chest mm -hmm. kind of causes him to spit blood from him. Uh, from his lips as he kind of takes the strike to the chest. Um, that is it for them. It'll go to you, Noel. It looks like these prey has teeth to them. Then he's going to bonus action form of dread. Okay. So you would see um, him kind of reach up to his eye and kind of pull downwards as like a skull-like face replaces his face. Um, and necrotic energy kind of emanates from his neck and... Uh, Head. Let me show you true terror. <laughs> that is gonna <laughs> bonus then... action, former dread, and then yeah. Well, I think I get hit points here, temporary hit yeah. points, yeah. former dread. So I get six. <laughs> okay, so we get Bloop. Then, as that happens, the skeletal like appearance forms to the side. Black Icar starts to dr drop from his uh, maw, and he's just gonna. Pull out the necrotic energy from his breath, doing his breath weapon. Is it a line for necrotic topaz? It's been a while I since I've dealt with one. It's a 15 foot cone. Here. It is, I yep. believe. Okay, so I will allow you to choose. You can either do the two on the bottom or the three on the right. Uh, three on the right. Okay. Um, I'm not even going to roll the dice. Because uh, that damage yeah. is so... F Wait, you had your con modifier. Do you not have one? I do. What's your con, con mod? mod? No. I don't think it adds to the con. It's just a straight... Oh, it doesn't add to the damage. Oh, that's so sad. It's okay, just... so I'm, I'm just yeah, going to be nice. I'm going to be nice. Yeah. Breath five, it sucks. I'm going to go ahead and, let them, I'm gonna go ahead and <laughs> let them take all of that damage you just dealt. Yay! <laughs> it's just I rolled really low. I saw that. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Very unfortunate. You're up. And by the sounds of it, there's at least four or so folks right outside the door. Okay. Well, I wanna. I'm gonna come up this, you know. See what's happening. Oh my. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> I think we need some help out here. <laughs> oh, door. Just to set the scene, there are four that are kind of surrounding Null. You've seen Null kind of go sicko mode before, so he's currently doing that. Uh, and then it looks like Drumgar and Inweir are kind of mostly just Drumgar actually at this point are holding the door, and it appears that there is a thudding to it. Like something's trying to breach it. My, my, my. Okay. Um. Okay.
All right. I'm a step back here. Mm -hmm. And I want to shoot the closest one here uh, with my short bow. Okay, take the shot. Metal miss. <laughs> okay, next up is Drumgar. Action, hold the door. Okay. Hold in the door. Doing great. I I agree. Um, okay, so um, Bay, um, you look out the door. You can see Inwir, um kind of move away from the door, but you can see that Drungar has basically got his dueling shield kind of locked in place and is using it as like a crossbeam himself. Um, but whatever's trying to bust through that door, you can tell is probably big. So um, you can move out into the doorway to see who we're fighting now. Magpie, you there? Yeah. Okay. So you can pop out, shoot one of them if you'd like. Yeah, I would like to just pop out, shoot, and then can I pop back in? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. I assume kind of like in a fashionable way, you kind of like lean your back against the door for a second, place your foot and kind of on the other side, slide out, arrow, fire, and then kind of lean in, kicking back into the corner um, as I go really foggy because of focus. Uh, that'll hit, though. Go ahead and give me damage. Yep, and you're not hiding, so no sneak attack. Oh, you have an ally adjacent, so sneak attack, uh, but more than enough with just that. Um, this guy's kind of engaged. Um, Arrow slides into the cloak hood, and you just watch it kind of go out the other side perfectly. The other guy kind of gets hit with a splash of blood as the guy kind of is dropping and spinning, uh, blood shooting out from both sides of his neck. Dead. Mm. In where? Um, if I were to say go here, mm -hmm. right, would a 10 foot long, 5 foot wide straight line hit all three of them? I would say that I would give you two of them. Two of them. Yeah, because if you try to get this one, you have to angle it out so it can get the one behind him, but not him. Right. And then okay. if you target him and him, then you can angle it so it zaps through. No problem. I'll do that. I'll do that. Okay. And I will cast... Which two do you want? The two on the top or uh, bottom and the top right? Uh, bottom, top right. Cool. Roll that beautiful beam footage. What do we got? Bolt rail? Uh, yeah, bolt rail. God, I know my own spells really well. Um, okay. <laughs> did it not roll? You, oh, yeah, shit. I did. I'm way up. Sorry. You only have to click one time. Um, yeah. Failure. And failure. Okay. So as you kind Let's of go. move forward and channel the bolt rail, a bolt of lightning kind of ejects out and snaps back to you um, in a very quick line. Uh, the two of them get struck by it and kind of drop down for a second. You think that you've knocked them both down, but they both raise their heads and their masks. And it's at this point with the light as it's flashing uh, in where that you can see just a faint bit inside of the mask and can see their faces. And you're pretty sure they're just humans. Okay, any other movement? Boo. Uh, uh, no. Okay. As that happens, you just be like, <laughs> as they fall over, you be like, oh, fuck, as they get up. So, Aveline, <laughs> what you have heard is magic happening. What you have seen is two drow shooting arrows across from the left right side of the hallway to the right side. You can go ahead and step out into the hallway if you'd like to see more. Uh, yes, it seems like maybe we're under attack. Let's go see. Oh, uh, yep, looks like we're under attack. Yep. <laughs> and I'm going to give you probably suspicion confirmed. I'm going to give <laughs> you a Goliath giggling, too. I'm going to give you a free religion check. Okay. Well, uh, do, 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 do. You got this. Okay. So you know that the symbol that they have on their person is known to represent the uh, even handed judge aspect of. Atavius. So these are what are known as judges, uh, or representatives of judges. 
Uh, that means that if they're attacking you, then they, for whatever reason, believe that you are uh, not supposed to be here or you're breaking the law. Well, that's offensive. What have you guys done to make them think that? <laughs> uh, Exists, really. Literally nothing. Right? <laughs> Get All right. away. Well, this is troublesome to me, so I'm going to dispose of them. <laughs> yes. Let's By all means. Do I like to? <laughs> Which one was it? Holy Lance? Uh, it was like the Flash Lance, because I wanted to hit multiple targets. Yeah, yeah three targets. So Flash Lance works like um, Scorching Ray. You can do one at a time. So if you click on Flash Lance, it'll throw one attack. Okay. So I'm going to go for the closest one. Um, yep. In front of these people here. Uh, that will miss. Okay. I'm going to try and hit him again. Mm -hmm. Miss also. Oh. Really? Okay. Last one. All right. That'll hit. Let's go. And then if you All click right, the flash lance in the... Yep. I don't remember my description here. Oh, if you hit an undead or fiend with a lance, it requires a con save. These are not that, so um, perfect. So you fire the bolts, and he kind of turns his attention towards you, um, holding up his lance, or holding up his uh, mace. And in where you kind of like press against the wall as you kind of see that there's going to be a bit of uh, spellcraft battling. The first two lances fire, and he kind of holds his mace out, and it seems that like as it's approaching, it's almost like a magnet kind of repels it away from it and kind of smashes into the wall. But the last one comes straight into his face, and he just flies backwards, um, cloak kind of spilling over him, and he's dead. Okay, Aveline, do you have any other nice. movement, or are you good on that? Uh, let's see, I think I did 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. I'm going to step back with my last five right there. Okay. This one yells something in uh, a language that none of you understand. Um, and uh, there's a retort that comes from the hallway to the south. And it sounds very angry and, like, pointed. Um, this guy here is going to hit uh, Null again, or try to anyway. Um, an eight will miss. Uh, lucky you. And then this one is going to point his mace at uh, Inweir and um, shoot a lightning bolt from it at um, Inweir. Uh, 17 to hit. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, it'll, yeah. It'll do one point of lightning damage. Ooh! <laughs> same, same damage roll. Let's go. Two more will rush out and take up those uh -oh. positions. You can see that there are two more waiting in the wings. And uh, those of you who are close, you can see that there is a different one whose face mask is um, much more um, battered. Uh, still appears to be made out of jeweler's brass like the other ones, but it also looks like there's a gemstone settled in his left eye. A blue Oops. kind of uh, sapphire. The two that appear, um, one will attack Inweir, and the other one will shoot Null. Mm. Um, Inweir, you will... Is your armor class really a 9? Apparently. What's your dex modifier? Uh, not good. Wow, okay. Well, Frontline's probably not the place for you, my guy. Um... It, I know. <laughs> 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 oh, no. oh, he was wrong in a cave, man. What do you what's uh, what's your backup character look like? <laughs> um, <laughs> that is a great question because I just dealt five piercing and three lightning damage to you, which I believe will knock you to zero. Um, yeah, yeah, All right. thud, and then the other one will shoot a uh, null with lightning bolt, uh, 14 to hit. Me to beat it, okay, and you have temp, right? Yeah. Sack three of them. Sack three? Okay. One, two, three. That's it from the Guardians, and then it'll go to Null. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so he could disengage here, but then he would leave. Hmm. 
Is he that sort of guy to just leave a friend behind? Or a patriot? What does mean Johnny think? <laughs> Do what the would I... opposite. Well, <laughs> disengage. <laughs> I think I think you have to WWJD it. What would John do? Where would John? this John? Not Wait, like one. me, John? No, me, John. Oh. Disengage and getting away is not a bad choice. Mm. Then I could get every. I could get a lot of people with the breath weapon here, though, too. No, no, not one damage. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! Do it, do it, do it, do it. Do, you see it. How quick, do you see how quick that response was? That's how cutting we need to get you, John. Johnny, this is this is the training for you to we'll get be there. this we'll jaded, him. this prepared. Like, <laughs> disengage is your best action. I'm not I'm not doing a bit. I'm not trying to be evil. I know. No, 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 don't just, do that. I'm, I'm telling you that at this point, if you do not fold out of the conflict, the conflict will fold yeah. you. Yeah, I know. I we like, are level one. I don't, I don't want to leave him, but at the same time, no. Okay, I wouldn't leave a friend behind. Okay, no. It's okay. Five, ten, fifteen. <laughs> no. <laughs> However, <laughs> five, ten, fifteen, Whoa. twenty, twenty. You ready? You, ready? you ready for something great here, though, Johnny? Yeah. Just, because just, of the way you I delivered that here. line, gain inspiration. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, uh, that was pretty zesty. <laughs> and I appreciate that. Johnny would never. Oh, though. Johnny. <laughs> okay, so that's disengaged. No bonus action, right? Well, let's. Uh, fuck! I am so sorry. You look. <laughs> you look as like... he runs past, he drum is just. Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> well, I mean, keep in mind, I didn't attack the one that was attacking you, so don't feel that bad. To help you, to help you feel cool. As you're passing by the twins, you just look back at them and say something like ordering them to continue shooting. Yeah. So what would you I'm say? killing them. <laughs> Slaughter them. <laughs> Slaughter them. Faye, you are up. Uh, he, Edward's down, by the way. There's a lot of them. <laughs> I'm a cure wounds on it. Brushing forward. You place the power of the dreaming on him and he regains five hit points. And then you still have a bonus action. You should give anyone bardic inspiration. Uh, Is that a thing okay. you get at first level? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, no, I get it. I get it. No, I do. I get three. Yeah, yeah, I believe. Oh. Yeah. Bardic inspiration. Just because our characters lie doesn't mean that we lie. Who do you want to give yeah. it to? Yeah. I think it's best if I give it to... Anywhere. Okay. Faye done? Uh, unless you have any more. I'm sorry, what was that? I'm gonna move back. Yeah. Drum guard. The door. So if I choose to ready an action, that forfeits me being able to hold the door and so something no will happen to the door. Yeah. No point readying. You okay. might as well just do the thing. Or keep holding the door. Yeah, but like I said, it's going to take two strokes without support for it to break. So you're pretty sure that if you move, you've got two turns of it holding. Oh, it's yeah, a turn you jumped, per pound. Got you it. You jumped right on that bad boy. Yep. So. Okay, uh, then <laughs> everybody else is fucking off. <laughs> I'm not going to be the heroic asshole. Uh, mm -hmm. Wait, why are we running into the room? That seems like a death trap. So just climbing a ladder while them behind you. Honestly, that hallway that you were in with Inweir, if you had somebody cool standing with you, it it might serve as a good choke point. Yeah, I think I'm just going to step off the door and back up a step. Okay. Actually, I can stand here, hold the door, and be easily shot over by any of the shooters because I'm yeah, but you, dwarf man. I would say that because you've got a shield... And the way okay. that you can position it, you can kind of hold it up with your gauntlet kind of like braced so that yeah. it will hit that and it won't shoot anybody behind you. You still grant cover. Got it. And if you take the dodge action, I'll say you grant three force cover to people behind you. Ooh. Ooh I'll do so. Okay. okay. That's neat. Drum guard done. Davis, you're up. Dave IS. Magpie. 
I see a light. She going? Yeah. Pop out, shoot. No, I'm here. Yeah, pop out, shoot. Okay. So if you're shooting at this one or this one, uh, it's the one at the top or the bottom. One at the top is wounded. One at the bottom's not. Keeping in mind, you're probably going to murder them no matter what their hit points are because you have sneak attack and we're still alive. Okay, so you target the one on the bottom, right? The fresh one? Okay. So, in we are, you kind of yell for him and he kind of reaches and kind of grabs the guy's leg um, and that kind of distracts him for a second and then you shoot and catch him right in the forehead. Um, it impales enough yeah. to cause him to fall. And at this point, um, and we are, you would notice that this grounded point here has three bodies in it, which means it is very, very, very difficult, if not impossible, to get through. So you do not think another person is going to jump into the, the mix there. And then, Bevis, you, Bevis, you go back in. Got it. Uh, and we are, you are up. You are currently prone. Um, I don't have this one. Get, Oh, fuck. You can... That's fine, but you'll only be able to move 15 feet because you'll have to stand up or 15 feet because you're crawling. Also, keep in mind... You can get just inside the door. If you stay prone, a couple of points here. You can share a square with Drumgar. A. B. Disadvantage on range attacks against you. And Drumgar will be standing over you, which means he'll have to... He'll take the brunt of the melee attacks. So if you want to crawl and, like, lankily... Mounted combat rules if he's prone... I love that. <laughs> well, <laughs> you'll get the mounted because he'll stand up and then you'll be like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, 15, 15 feet would be right here. Yeah, that's fine. So yeah, you crawl away. You could also. I would allow you to go here if you wanted, because you just snake around. Wait, right on top. Or are you talking about yeah. here? No, here. there. Yep. Nah, I'll do. Nah, yeah, I'll get to sit here. Okay. So yeah, you kind of crawl past Drumgar, who's kind of like locked in, oh, shield fuck, up, oh, fuck, oh, and fuck. you kind of like grab a hold of the uh, the frame and kind of like pull yourself in. Mm. All right, and we are done. Uh, Aveline, you are up. It looks like you've got quite a few combatants here. Um, who's in bad shape right now? On your team? Yes. Uh, and we are bloodied. Uh, Null is bloodied. Bayvias has some wounds. I'm from missing the four hit points. Mm. I'm poised. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna last for a while, and I haven't actually been taking that into account. You've been very, very fortunate. You should be attacking oh. with disadvantage. <laughs> it's okay. I will remember from this. You're too forward. focused on me. However, if yeah. you were using your bonus action to hide each turn, which we'll say you were doing. You would have been getting advantage, so it would have balanced out. These all would have hit still. Okay. So, um, I would say that the best target to get would be Null. The boss. Alright. Where are you? Uh, you were in the room? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do -do -do. 1d8. Or... 1d4. Uh, you don't get cunning action until level 2. Oh. You're right. Okay. Oh. I've, I've, I've already adjusted. I, I, I have a uh, I have an adjustment to balance it out. It's ad hoc, but I'm doing it anyways. I'm just adding another guy. Thank you, Zach. Yep, got it right there. Zach is the G. All right, I'm going to go over to Null mm -hmm. and cast Cure Wounds. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, thank you. Someone who can kill and heal. <laughs> <laughs> you're in the, cl like, you're in the bang if you want to be. <laughs> <laughs> she kind of just like, she like blushes. She's like, oh, okay. <laughs> 
We need someone like you on the team. <laughs> and, by the way, his face is still a skull, yes, and like oh, it's yeah. burning with necrotic energy. <laughs> Drumgar turns yeah. and shoots him and a dirty look. <laughs> they kind of, after finishing that sentence, goes and just spits Iker onto the floor. <laughs> just like in her mind, she's just like, "I'm part of a team." <laughs> <laughs> Perfection. <laughs> um, it'll go to them. Um, so they do have to start maneuvering around the corpses, uh, which makes it a little difficult. <laughs> He's going to move to there. That's dead. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five. And then move there. Okay, so the blue one uh, comes out and he's holding an Atavian cross that appears to be a merchant scale as well. So it's kind of shaking and jangling. And as he kind of walks out, he says something in the weird language that they're talking and places his hand on the guy who kind of like was wounded by all of the attacks and seems to cast a spell that cures all of his wounds. Um, that's right. I can also cast Cure It's not wounds. fair when the bosses heal. <laughs> Only we can heal. And then this guy <laughs> will appear there, the one that I just added for shenanigans. Um, okay. Mm -hmm. So, um, that is me attacking Drumgar. Drumgar, your AC is a 18, and you have 18 dodge and I dodged. On. Okay. Let's see what we yeah. got. Uh, no, uh, no, and uh, no. 16 was the highest I got. So as you kind of like see them coming, you kind of shift position to get out of tower shield mode and kind of place the dueling shield in like a set position. These things start banging off of it as you kind of, you know, uh, American gladiators block the shit out of all of them. Guardians are done. Null, you're up. Um, you feel rejuvenated. You look outside and you can see that the back of the dwarf is kind of pressed against the doorway. You can see that Favis, uh, Favias is kind of like near the door, kind of getting ready to kind of either engage in melee or escape. And then okay. it's very tight right here at the doorway, which I just... Oh, no, Drumgar is small, right? Uh, he's not small, no. He is medium, no. medium size, but he is shorter. Okay. Is it like possible to share a space with him? Not permanently, you no. No, just like for a moment. Yeah, but you'll have to end your turn in a, a space that's not occupied. Yeah, so kind of like when he's like holding out like his shield there, he's gonna share his space for a bit. Over his shield, can he use his breath weapon here? Yeah. So it's a 15 foot, you said? Yeah. 15 foot cone. 50 foot cone. Because it good. emanates, I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you him and him, but that, you can't do two guys that are adjacent that close. Because okay. Cone starts narrow and ends wide. Okay, so that will... I think we just lost Magpie again. Kill that one. Um, and wound the one in the back. Alright. Okay. Then, so that was 510. Get opportunity attacked here. This is, mm -hmm. there's, uh, he's, he's providing, uh, cover, right? Wait, sorry, did you go for the one on the south side or the one on the north side? This one here, right? Yeah, these two, Zach, get these two, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, no, no, no. Yeah. It would have been this one here and this one back here, because 15 foot cone. Starts off narrow, ends wide. Okay, okay. Yeah. Actually, it even uh, it, it it wraps, um, because it doesn't say it. No, it doesn't say it does. Okay, never mind. Not the fire one. Okay, so one opportunity attack if you move to this space. Okay. And it will miss. Sweet. All right, Bay. Okay. Um, if I did a cone attack, could I hit from my? What could I hit? So, um, cone attacks, um, again, will start narrow and wide. So, if you did a cone here, 
it's either going to only hit the guy directly north, or you're going to need to move and then throw it. And if you move into Drumgar space and throw it, you can do this guy and this guy, if it's 15 foot long. Can, can she step oh, into it's null only space? It's yeah. all, it's can she just... step into null space and hit this guy and this guy? Yeah, that'll work. Yeah. So it's only 10, that's all it's got. Yeah. Okay. I want to do Beguiling Strand. Okay. And Strand says, uh, each creature needs to make a wisdom saving throw. Failure to do so means d4 damage. Okay. So the one directly north will fail. Uh, that'll be three damage. You can move him into his position uh, at your pleasure. Um, and this one will also fail. So you can also move him as well. How would you like to move them? Just move them back. Okay. So this one will move here, and then this one will move here. Oh, oops. Hold on. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Perfect. Um, any movement from you at all? Oh, you already did. Okay. No, no, I did. I'm gonna move back. Oh, I see. You were hiding under an old. Got it. Yeah. Okay. And I'm done. Uh, Drumgar, at the bottom of the initiative, the door slams. You can see that it breaks. One more hit. That bad boy is wide open. Whatever is behind it is free to hang out with you guys. You can actually see a look of worry on this guy's face. As he turns and looks back and then kind of looks at you, his eyes are so wide, like, the shadow of the masks kind of hides them, but they're so wide, the whites are very clear and noticeable. There's a look of panic on that man. Um, so, how would you like to proceed? I know there's a party gonna... in mind right now that says, open the door and let it go. <laughs> Let's see what yeah. happens. Let it go. Oh. Not a royale. First I think I'm gonna help a Jonah. try and get him over his fear. 16 hit. By ending him forever? Yeah, that'll work. <laughs> okay, so as he kind of turns away and then looks to you with his look of surprise, you kind of spin the dueling shield up, push it right into his face. Um, it goes to the hilt of the shield, so that the shield actually rams against the mask. And as you kind of pull away from him, the mask kind of hangs loosely on the blade before kind of slumping with a metallic sh off onto the ground. A <laughs> good kill. All right. Any other mm -hmm. movement? Nope. Yep, holding position. All right. Uh, Bay, you've got a pretty good line outside, so you can just pop out behind uh, Drumgar. Um, unfortunately, you will not have sneak attack because there's no um, allies nearby. And I won't be uh, forgetting you have disadvantage as well. And your computer is also being horrible to you. It's, you know, you okay. <laughs> rush on for work, which I appreciate to get on in time. And then the dog and everything. I'm so sorry, Magpie. Taking the shot. Okay, that'll miss. And pop back into position. As you kind of step out behind um, Drumgar and shoot, kind of step back, there's sweat kind of beating on your brow, and you can kind of, like, there's a bit of cotton mouth in your throat. You're definitely starting to more feel the uh, poisonous sting. Uh, Inward? I guess I will... I'm prone, so I'll get up. Mm -hmm. You can move 15. And... Pop out, pop back in. Yeah, let's see. I will do... Oh, wait, what? Sorry, I'm bad at casters. I'm going to cast Infestation on the... Bigger. Big guy. Okay. Yeah. He will... Make his constitution saving throw. Okay. So it's a cantrip. No effect. And uh, pop back in. Yeah. All right. Right there. Uh, you can't stand in the same space as another person. Nope. There's nobody there. Uh, there is. Magpies. Yeah, magpie. Magpie is there. It may not be loading for you. Um, oh, 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 oh. Got it. Got it. 
Abilene, you're up. All right. Who was the one suffering from poison? This one here. Okay. Actually, I think I'm out of juice. I don't think I can heal anyone anymore. Yep. A lot of spells well. have been utilized. It's totally okay. Level well. one, baby. Level one. Yep. <laughs> Very appreciative of the healing thing. That is pretty red. At, at least you tried. <laughs> yeah. I was useful. Okay. We'll just, um... <laughs> We're just gonna throw some cantrips out. Let me see. Yep, that's just gonna be Holy Lance on that one guy who's. Oh, um, there you go. What? Roll the Let's damage. Go. You said this guy up front. Yeah. Okay. Get him. Let's see it. That's a crit, by the way, folks at home. <laughs> Three damage! <laughs> Yay! Oh no. Hell oh, yeah! I'm so a sorry. one and a two! She rolled it's a brilliant. one and a two. Oh, uh, a 2d6! I'm gonna oh. um, he, jump into traffic. Oh, yeah, um... <laughs> one and everybody. He is bloodied. Um, that will get him over the halfway line. Um, okay. They will... Um, seeing the situation as it stands, um, two of them will rush forward, and they seem to be trying to encircle um, Drumgar. Um, when they get into position, the leader will yell something. Uh, it sounds like, Shaka! And when he does so, this guy explodes in a burst of lightning. I need Null and Drumgar to both make dexterity saving throws. Success. Okay. Cool. Uh, success. Okay, so you will only take four points of lightning damage as that guy explodes in a just <laughs> um, electric field. Uh, this guy here will move into position and then attack. Drongar. 18 AC. That'll miss. And um, this guy here will move here and also attack Drongar. 18 AC. That'll miss. High AC is the way to go, folks. Oh, last but not least, this guy will pop In the up. early levels. Yeah. He'll shoot a shot of lightning at Null. Mm -hmm. Now I roll the high numbers. Uh, <laughs> Null, you'll take, <laughs> you'll take three lightning damage. No. Okay. And okay. that is it for them. Null, you're up. I guess he still has form and dread, but can I use it again just to get the ten hit points? Uh, how many uses of it do you have a day? Two. Then yeah, absolutely. Okay. Bloop. I guess it's... Bloop. Four hit points. Ten hit points. Okay. One, two, three, four. Uh, I have a question how this works here. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I have a cantrip called Mortal Coil here. Can I use it to slam this guy into this guy? The Click Mortal Coil. Right. Got it, okay. So, the target must make a strength saving throw or be pushed up to 10 feet in a straight line away from you. Yeah, it's just a push. It doesn't uh, do anything on a connect, so if he can't be pushed 10 feet, it'll just stop him, so. Okay, will it do the damage to, like, both of them, or just no, one of them? No, just the one. It yeah. specifically oh. says that it ends the movement within 5 feet of another creature. Sure. Oh. Both creatures take 1d6 necrotic damage. Oh, then yeah, if it reads that way, then perfect. I... If this movement is blocked by another creature or it ends its movement yeah, within yes. 5 feet of another creature, both yeah. creatures I take 1d6 necrotic damage. I forget the spells I write sometimes. Damage. Leave me alone. Um, I just, I... <laughs> I okay. I... You sure? You so, sure about that? So yeah, just can... to keep everyone in check. He, he, you he can... just has to read, John. Yeah, you read. Rules he can't read. help himself. Reading's, he has to reading's read. Reading's hard. It's it's right. Yeah. So you can. Um, you're gonna target this one. Yeah. Okay. And real quick, I'm just I'm gonna with you. make sure you guys understand what this guy looks like. Um, just so we have him out there while I flop around a bit. Um, oh. Very very weak. Like a skull yeah. and grabs that one, tries to push him to the other one. I am going to make my strength saving throw. Success. Darn kind it. of looks like uh, Zeus pretending well. to be Santa Claus. <laughs> well. That or like, it's like an <laughs> Elder Scrolls dwarf. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, anything else, Noel? 
<laughs> to use the door, is that an action? Or is it like a free... Which door? Act? This one. Uh, to open it would be a part of your movement. Okay. Okay, five, ten. Open that up. What is... Oh, that's 15, a bug. <laughs> what is as that? You, as, you rush with, <laughs> as you rush with haste into this room, I will note that the fire beetles turn up towards you and hiss, and their fiery kind of, like, glands start to kind of heat up. I should have finished them all off. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I was debating that. Do we should go back in the room you came from, or...? Just shut the door. <laughs> Did you hear him, like, as he entering the door? And yeah, they seem to him. reactionarily look to you and, like, hiss. Okay, he's gonna... <laughs> go right there. <laughs> and close it. You wanna close the door again? Yeah. Totally fine. <laughs> oh, use, if we need to use the door, let's it's use kind of like door. a. Oh no! Actually, fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Open door. The fourth day goes. Um, drunk art. There's been this moment that you've kind of been expecting throughout the entirety yeah. of the fight, and as you've got the shield there and see, you're kind of getting surrounded, lightning explosions, and Null seems to be like you know better part of Valoring. You look at that door. Literally, like one heartbeat away from the moment, it's like there's a quiet, a still, a like that's gonna explode, and then boom, door smashes <laughs> open. And when it does, the massive yeah. head of a lizard slams through the door, um, and <laughs> immediately latches onto this asshole. What um, is this? Oh, that's so cute. And Wait, what? just so you can see it, uh, I'm going to go ahead and find his handout. Hold on here. I'm going to try and find his handout. Giant yeah, lizard. No, please, please let me see it. It is not in here. That is super lame. Why'd you tease me? I am so sorry. I didn't want to tease you. I wanted to <laughs> succeed and I failed you is what happened. But anyway, we wanted so, to see the giant lizard. The best way to it's describe like a big, it, big iguana. It it does, um, except like much more sharper teeth and like um, rawr. Um, but basically, its whole body Why doesn't come through. It smashes, and then its head kind of snakes out and just gloms onto the guy's shoulder, and then with a second bite, takes his head into its mouth and kind of crunches. Um, uh -huh. You've probably seen iguanas like crunch bugs. Yes. Yeah. It's that, but it's a dude that's that's happening to instead. Um, that was on initiative one. A lizard. Bay, you are up. Um, and I will note too, Drumgar. It does look like it went for the closest thing. Your presumption is, is in its kind of enraged mentality. It it's not going to discern. It's just going to attack. Mm -hmm. That's kind of my hope. Let it eat all the thralls. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That'll be slaughtered. <laughs> what would you like to do, Faye? Uh, I want to hit the guy with the eye okay. in the back um, with a short bow. Okay. It's an 18 hit. It certainly does. And the damage is a nine. Okay. All right. Um, Bay, anything else? I'm getting the hell out of here. All right. And Drumgar? I'm going to take the dodge action. Okay. Do you want to back away one, or do you wish to remain in your position? I think I'm going to stay trying to cover this door as much as possible. That's my goal it. with the positioning. You're doing great. Um, Bay, you're up. Don't if you pop out, me. you'll have a um, big right. attack here. That'll miss. Yeah. You kind of lose the arrow, and you just kind of, like, look at your hand, and it's kind of got sweat in the palm. It feels clammy, and you kind of, like, grab the next arrow, kind of tap it. Because you can kind of feel your sweat running from your hands and from your head. Um, just everything's discombobulated. And you got to take a shit. And you got to <laughs> Poison. Yeah. Uh, in weir, you are up. All right. He will go here. Okay. So, oh, fuck. Huh? 
Okay. And then uh, on the on this guy right here, I'll cast infestation. All right. He will fail. Uh, before he moves in a random direction, he just falls to the ground, um, just okay. bleeding everywhere. As uh, bugs seem to kind of like enter into him, and you can see like it's nasty, it's just nasty. And he'll just say sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, and we'll go to Aveline. Why are they hiding behind me? <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I, I will say, I just looked at the numbers, and as far as armor classes go, you are better than that. Uh, only Sorry, really? I'm so frail. Only I'm frail one, and not wearing a shirt. Only one what? party member is better or equal to you, and he is currently doing work. So... <laughs> You Do appear to be a bit more of a frontliner than you think you are. More, more frail than the sickly pale girl? Okay. <laughs> well, look at me. I in, should be like... In cleric armor. 400 pounds. <laughs> cleric armor. With a oh sick God. armor so arm. warm out. I left everything <laughs> right. back to the she's, she's gimpy, too. She doesn't even have both of her arms. Come on, guys. There. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I have to have tip, hit points to compensate. <laughs> so All right. For cultivating mass. It's all right. It's all right. <laughs> We're gonna. Okay. Well, this is interesting. Can I? What's the ranch on that? Oh, yeah. I can hit him. I'll just holy lance the closest um, enemy there. Okay. The lizard? No. The this one. Uh, guy so, who's uh, trying to. Yeah. If you target this one, he will have cover because of lizard. Mmm. But what if. I don't if know. I don't want to be. One, have... You doesn't have cover. Okay. Okay. I can still. What? 10, 10. Yeah, I can still hit him. Yeah. We'll do that. Nope. Or we'll, we won't. Race is his holy symbol, and you watch as your bolt kind of just away from him. That's all, right. all I got. Till next time. As a bonus action, the leader throws his hand down. You watch as a shield just kind of appears. Um. And then he will use his action to uh, raise his holy symbol, and you watch as it kind of emanates with lightning, and bolts of lightning flare off of it, uh, both of them striking at Drumgar. Um, bear with me here. So, Drumgar, you dodged, right? Yeah. Okay, so only one of those two will hit. Uh, but it's the larger of the two, which is sad, so you'll take seven points of lightning damage. Hanging on by a thread. You just chatted. Jeez. Perfect. <laughs> oh. This guy will rush out, and he's trying to get around you. As he does so, he's hopeful that the lizard is indisposed. Um, it cannot take reactions uh, because it is squeezing. So it does... He does get to his position, and he's going to attack your cleric. Um, that'll miss. So, um, Aveline, as it kind of rushes forward, you throw your arm, um, the prosthetic, with the armor on it up, and kind of catches lightning mace. The lightning rolls down your arm and doesn't affect you because it's not flesh. And you kind of just push him away um, defiantly. That is them. It'll go to null, and then initiative one will be the lizard. And well, don't be sorry. They deserved it. Uh, then he's gonna um, open his skeleton mole ball here, and he's gonna Eldritch Blast at the lizard. Okay. You mean the cleric? Um, Hopefully it hit. Does a 10 hit? No. Darn it. Um, as he kind of raises the symbol, like, he's got the symbol for the lightning, you fire the Ultra Blast, and then he kind of puts it back in front of him, and it does the same kind of strange warding. And then he says oh. something um, afterwards, which does kind of click with um, Null. The word he says sounds like a bastardization of the draconic word, um, uh, a, a, a curse word, a derogatory one that is kind of uh, on par with like calling someone. Um, I don't know how to say it. It sounds bad. He just cursed. He, he just said a curse word at you. 
that yeah, starts with poopy C. Poopy head. That starts with C and ends with unt. Oh, okay. Well, don't say it. Yeah. Do not say it. Do not say it. <laughs> God, Johnny so doesn't even know Naro. that. Word, so. like... He's sounding it out. No, don't do that. <laughs> oh, wait. I know Draconic. Uh... Um, yeah, I'd say you could probably understand it as well. It was a bad word. Don't Please don't say it, though. <laughs> it's the worst bad word you can think of. That's okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, Means. Adam. Oh. Gowl. Adam. Just does this. Okay. And, yep. Then that's on initiative that's one, the closest target I have. Um, I'm gonna move into the room uh, through squeezing. Look at the guy. Um, oh no. And then it takes up the entirety of the hallway. Uh, it appears to have barding on it. Uh, which means it looks like it might have been utilized as a uh, mount. Um, it is going to attack um, the dwarf. I want to ride it. <laughs> Tame the beast. <laughs> is that a horse? It's <laughs> fucking. You kind of pull your shield and kind of move it up to kind of like block it. Its teeth clamp onto the sides of it, and you can feel like. You got a pretty solid lock with the shield in its mouth, and it's kind of like ah on the shield as you're kind of holding back, and you can see its tongue kind of like licking up from the sides. The teeth aren't really getting into the metal, and you're kind of holding it in place. Um, Faye, you're up. Okay. You can see this guy from your position in the room, by the way. I don't know if you can in the map, though. Yeah, I can, but I have two thoughts here. Sure. I could cure wounds because I have one spell slot left on Drumgar. Or I can try Flicker of Fate on the dragon. I mean, on the. He has one hit point left. So I would say Drumgar would yeah. probably be. Uh, I can't very, heal anymore, yeah. so. Yeah, very appreciative of the last bit of healing. And we like him. He came up from. Hello with us. Yep. Okay. Cure wounds. Six back. Six. Okay. So, Drumgar, I'm going to give you a bit of a fun narrative beat. Um, it's entirely up to you how you want to employ it. If you wish to calm the beast, you can attempt an animal handling check in the midst of the combat. You will have disadvantage for the check. Or you can just fight it normal. What's D and D without a little yeah. bit of roll in, right? I agree. Who knows? <sighs> Who knows? Maybe you'll there be are lucky. people in this party that have inspiration as well. So you um, you tame that horse. Um, that won't help. Oh, I um, I rolled a seven. Yeah, I disadvantage. So if you give him it, it'll still just be a seven. Seven. Yeah. So give him inspiration. Yeah. It won't help. It won't help. Is what I'm telling you. All right. Yeah, it disadvantage. What? It won't count. Yeah, because he has disadvantage, so he yeah, has yeah, to take yeah, the lower yeah. of the two. But if you give him advantage, it just equals that, which means he goes to the first, to. and that'll be give him two advantages. <laughs> uh, that's not how it works. Uh, yeah. But yeah, guard, that's your action. Give him the whole interest of info. Okay. Um. So, Bay, you are up. Um, if you want, you can just shoot this guy right here, and he's adjacent to your allies, so if you do hit with disadvantage, you will do sneak. No, you won't. You have disadvantage. Ow. It hits, oh, so it's just regular no sneak attack. That'll kill. Yay! Alright, so all the enemies on this side of the lizard are dead. Um, in where you are up, um, the lizard is blocking all of you, total cover, to the cleric on the other side. So it's either kill the lizard or do nothing. What if we don't kill the lizard? Can we tame Can we the lizard? And eat that other guy. <laughs> yeah. But right now, I want to see Drumgar. Right? I want a 
No, we pulled Drumgar into the into the room and then let him eat the other. Okay. It, it seems know. to be could very I, focused I... on Drumgar eating right now. Okay. Oh, fuck. Uh, I guess we gotta do something. Oop. Didn't mean to open the door. <laughs> open the door. Oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, forgot about that. This beetle. Uh, what are we doing? Sorry, I will do a. Could I sneak an infestation over to the mage? You cannot see the mage. Okay. I can't uh, at all. Okay. Then I guess I'll do it on the lizard. Because remember, yeah. there is piles of corpses in the hallway. The yeah. lizard is on top of them, but not. Yeah, there ex- are. Not e- exactly. The drow have been doing work, but <laughs> there's a huge ass <laughs> lizard, and it's not standing on them. It's standing. No, no, in yeah, them. right, right, yeah. right, right. <laughs> its belly yeah. is touching. There is I've, no I've view. Completely, I completely <laughs> forgot. But uh, that's a. It- if you jump on the back of the lizard, you could attempt to mount it with an action. You'll be able to see over it. Yeah, then you can see the guy on the other side. All right, all right, all right. Let's go. Okay. Do you have Do you have acrobatics or athletics trained? Absolutely not. Okay. So athletics. Make... Actually, I have athletics trained. You have athletics <laughs> trained. Okay. Yes. So then you're gonna make an athletics check. Wish me luck. DC's what falls. is your character? Nailed it. What the hell are you doing? You, <laughs> jump, <laughs> you, jump on, you jump onto a larger creature using a skill trick from my nonsense. So you are on the back of the lizard. You don't have control of it. You are just on it. Any attack rolls you make against the lizard have advantage. It was your action to mount it, meaning you are on it. But because of the ceiling's like proximity, you are God, prone. That's terrible. For the purposes of combat, so that means anybody attacking you besides the lizard has advantage against you if they're doing so melee. Disadvantage if they don't do melee. Okay. All right. Oh, and don't, oh don't forget you have bardic inspiration too. Yeah, you could have used that to help with yep. that, but you nailed it with the athletic check. It's the only good roll I think you've thrown all yeah. night. Uh, <laughs> anyway, you are I'm done. I'm trained. What can I say? Aveline, you are next. So you just watched the lanky Goliath kind of rush over and like. <laughs> throw himself in the air like a starfish and land on top of the lizard and he's like grabbing onto the more like he wedged himself in between the lizard and the ceiling yeah. he like launched himself in... like a ninja star just whoop it <laughs> and he's in, he's in the seat just you and me now lizard <laughs> and just kind of like launched up and like oh parallel and part like, fucking yeah. wedged himself in horizontally Gol- Goliath parallel <laughs> vertical parking <laughs> <laughs> so I I am assuming I cannot see nothing over lizard. these guys. Just the lizard. Yep. <laughs> and a and, quarter of the barbarian. And <laughs> or his, the Goliath. Rather. And his rider, yeah. The sorcerer, by the way. <laughs> the, uh, the, the sorcerer rider. rider. What the hell? No, nobody is attacking. You wanted to be yet. part of a team, you didn't get specific. <laughs> This is the team you get. (laughs) 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 All right, we're going to make this work. Um, Hold on, let me see if I can be clever here with what we're doing. Now, I will say, I did just state that Inweir is prone. If you had something that knocks him out of being prone... He will okay, be shunted that's... off the lizard, and he can choose which direction he wants to go. Okay, that's what I wanted to ask. I wasn't sure if I was able to use that, since yep. he's, like, squished in between the ceiling. So you're going to use lift up as a bonus action? Yes, and I want to place him on well, the side with the on. cleric. So there, 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 there's a priority, though. You're making him unprone, so you're lifting him from a standing position. Oh, God, please don't do that. Anyway, oh. at that <laughs> point, you do have to get off the lizard. Because she is kind of forcing you into a place where you can no longer have it tenably. You can Ooh. choose which square adjacent to the lizard you'd like to fly into. That can either be adjacent to the cleric, adjacent to Drumgar, or, one you didn't see, in the doorway to the north. 
You're, so, you're asking me? Yeah, you get to choose. You're the one that's flying off of it, so you get to Ooh, spiral like a the starfish. The doorway. <laughs> there you go. No, that door is completely spins through the doorway, so you cannot close it. Yeah. Um, okay, that's all right. Cool, cool, cool. Aveline, that's a bonus action. You still have an action to throw. Oh shoot. Okay. Um. Want to spell at it? Well, actually, I was gonna. Who went through the door again? In where? Uh, I did. In... Okay. I. I... Kind of wanted to use withstand on Drumgar here. With, I think that would help. Yep. It would it would help against the lizard, yeah. For sure, throw it. Okay. Nope, nope. Withstand is a cantrip um, that states that um, when you get hit by a non-magical weapon, damage will be reduced by five, Drumgar. Abilene, you are done. It'll go to them. So the lizard is going to not go because it's not its turn, but the cleric will. And the cleric will. We don't know because we can't see him. Nope. He's <laughs> no, do he something. Not. He's doing something back there. He's up to something. Actually, yeah, that I... sneaky, well, sneaky now cleric a... back there. <laughs> He's up to something. Well, now there's a tiny, there's a tiny Goliath the size toll now. You do hear what sounds like a prayer and the sounds of a healing spell going off. Uh, you also hear the sounds of what sounds like a shield being like equipped. Or, like, no, he, he already equipped the shield. He's done with that. So, yeah, I'm done. That's it. Null, you're up. The lizard's in the way, Null. The job is the job. Yeah. Out the way, lizard, so this cleric can meet his god. <laughs> Oh, oh god. Oh. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> that, was, that was raw as hell. Holy shit. <laughs> now back it up with a murder spell and kill the lizard. Spitting, just spitting right. flames over there. Oh my god. <laughs> You've been practicing. <laughs> you really have been talking to yourself you? in the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> I'm it's a like, little bit scared, honestly. Like that was a like Cthulhu game. The evil Johnny came out of the mirror and replaced Fuck. the good Johnny. <laughs> yeah, that, that's that's canon now. What are we doing? What are we casting, Johnny? <laughs> you, Johnny, don't want to kill the lizard, but Null wants to kill the lizard. He wants to kill the lizard. What would a bad man do? <laughs> kill the lizard. I'm, uh, just know I'm I'm crying this, crying all. Johnny, Johnny, button. it's an invasion. You, hit, you fucking nailed him. Oh, let's see the damage. <laughs> why, why do I hit good when I'm hitting the lizard? Damn it. Big numbers. Let's see it. Hell yeah, it's baby. That's max. This guy. <laughs> this guy. Five and pain. Build the things you love. <laughs> it squeals. So, it's holding onto the shield and it's trying to get at Drumgar. And basically, it like pulls its jaws back and then snaps forward. And uh, Drumgar, you can feel its heat heated breath coming out of its nostrils as that tongue kind of flicks at your beard. And just as that happens, you see the <laughs> of the Eldritch Blast snap from behind you and smash it in the face like a fist. And it kind of backs away and blood starts to kind of come out of one of its eyes and a couple of teeth kind of drop loose from its mouth and as I... it's... Go ahead. Oh, it needs to make a wisdom saving throw because it's formed of dread. Oh, fuck yeah. Here. We love big it's pace now. We love big numbers. We love big numbers. Wisdom... Wisdom, which it fails. Is... What happens? It's afraid. It, it's a yeah. It's frightened. Okay. Yeah. Uh, absolutely. It kind of comes up at first, trying to kind of be menacing, but then when it sees the Ghost Rider head, it's like, <laughs> um, <laughs> and is kind of uh, spooked. Um, Faye, you are up after the lizard. Since the lizard is scared, I am going to Here, try and bum rush through my guy. This will provoke opportunity attack from Drumgar. If you wish to take it. <laughs> okay. Do I get one? Uh, yeah. <laughs> and then, uh, um, I'm going to ask you a question, uh, Zach. Did you pushing thrust or did you try and kind of like uh, arc thrust to grab at it? Or did you try and push it away from you with the uh, lance? 
what I would want to have done in a perfect world, if I can choose, yeah, is to have jumped and stabbed him in the back while getting into the mount. So you want to kind of <laughs> catch into it. Yeah. Okay. So then what happens is, is you get into its spine in the back, and you can feel its weight crumple down onto the bodies. You actually see some of the uh, the cultists kind of push out to the side, kind of like a wave of blue robes, just kind of <laughs> to the sides of the thing, as the lizard's weight pushes down on them. It slides a little bit, but because you were kind of arcing inwards, it doesn't slide towards the cleric like would have happened if you answered the other way. And you yeah. are on it. Good day. <laughs> At this point, it will take a total of four times five feet of movement to get through a single square of the lizard. It is a tall pile of shit that has happened here. And all of the dead cultists in front of you are also going to cost you double your movement because they're just difficult terrain as fuck. It's a lot of corpses. <laughs> this is three fights yeah. at once, by the way. You guys, the worst possible scenario. <laughs> I say we just get it all one and done. Like, oh, yeah. this is the best possible yeah, yeah, yeah. scenario. I mean, right, you're gonna be right. you're gonna be darn close to level three right off the bat. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, Null, you are the one who blasted um, that led to it being scared, and it, it, it died. Faye, you are yeah. up. Good job, Johnny. I'm so proud. I'm so proud of the murder you did. Proud of you. Yeah, I wouldn't have been able to get that kill if it wasn't for you. So thanks, man. <laughs> But can Thanks I for shoot? brutally murdering that lizard. Okay. Yeah, it was so, yeah. Doing great. We, we can You're shoot the great, target buddy. because of the piles in front of him. He has cover. I'm gonna shoot it anyway. What else? That's right. We got a 21 AC. Wait, That'll Faye! Miss. It's Faye. Oh, uh, is it? You <laughs> yeah. don't know. No one knows. <laughs> oh. I'm fine with it. <laughs> a 14 on miss. Um, unless you okay. want to spend an inspiration that you may or may not have, uh, that'll be a miss. No, I don't have one. Okay. I'm fine with everything. Drumgar, you are on it. It'll take you 20 feet to get to the next space on the lizard, and then 5 feet to drop down off of it. Yeah, so, that's enough. You kind of, you, you've got the dueling shield in it, you kind of lift it up and then spin it to grab it on the other side, and then drag yourself over, and then boom, <laughs> with the dueling shield coming down. I'm assuming you're attacking. Yeah. 14. He uh, pulls his shield up, which kind of looks like this weird, like, artifice plate on his arm, and he kind of knocks your weapon away uh, easily. Okay. Um, Bay, you are up. We'll just go ahead and use the short bow attack you made there. 20 will not hit. Um, from range attacks, he currently has a 21 armor class because of the cover. Mm -hmm. So as that kind of happens, like the arrow skips off of the lizard and kind of slams into the wall above him. Uh, in where you are up? Am I able? To, do I, am I able to get back on top of the? It'll take you lizard? four squares of movement to exit out of the four door squares. onto a square of lizard. You're kind of. If I do that, doing one I of those to get up onto the lizard. Uh, 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 e. uh. And you can, go to, like you can go touching to the, other, the arch of the... Yeah, you can go to the other square, like the one to the the front, if you want to get closer. Yeah. Oh, there you guys are. I see. <laughs> it's like these big old lanky arms just shoot out over top of a drum bar and just start <laughs> casting <laughs> spells down on the cleric. <laughs> this is a vibe. Oh, I don't, I don't have any this, sort of reach. This is a vibe. Just cantrip it. Well, I don't have any reach. You have cantrips. I'm too sad. Samuel's cough. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. So, I will make a con saving throw. I will succeed. Boo. Sorry. <laughs> you see him kind of. You see him kind of. <laughs> boo. <clears throat> and then just very quickly kind of shudder out a simple cough, but not a full. So cough. Okay. Just a little. <laughs> little baby cough. 
Okay, Aveline. So you can attack him. Uh, he oh. has cover uh, if you're doing so with range. Okay, I can re I can shoot over the lizard, or yeah, it, if I get on top of the lizard, can, can shoot I shoot him? Over the but the guy on the other side has cover. Basically, you're able to see like the top half of him. Even if I get on the lizard, it's going to take you four squares of movement to get onto the first square of lizard. So five twenty five just to get to this position. And you will not have the cover problem anymore, but you will be up on the lizard with Inweir as well. Okay. okay. I'm going to do that. All right. Um, I would like for Inweir and for uh, Aveline to both make a dexterity saving throw. Oh, Jesus Christ. Those are my least favorite. And, um, <laughs> Magpie, I'm going to go ahead and warn you ahead of time. Just close your ears. Ooh. Oh, no. We don't so like to hear that. The added weight of a okay. second party on top of it causes the bone structure of the creature to falter. And I'll leave it there. I hope that wasn't too unsettling. But it <laughs> flattens outwards. Uh, and we are, you fall forward. You are prone in Drumgar space. Uh, Aveline, you are able to hold your position on top of the uh, now kind of broken inwards um, bloody mess of the lizard. Gross. Okay. <laughs> Well, how's that? Yep. You can still take your action. You can go ahead and fire at the target. You are firing from front. Should be fine. Hmm. You can come back, Magpie. Nah. Nothing. Got oh, no. nothing. Oh, rip. <sighs> Nobody mentioned the bone stuff. Um, that spell will miss. Um, okay, it'll go to him. Uh... Okay. So, he is going to... Attack twice against, um, Drumgar. Yeah, it makes sense. Uh, that'll hit. That will miss. Um, okay. So that will do... It's going to be enough to let you down. Uh, it's going to be nine total. So he bashes you once, the second attack missing, uh, but because of your... Because he toppled you with the first one. Did that poison damage, right? Uh, lightning damage. We it, dead. Well, not dead, dead. Dying. dying. Yeah. Sorry. My boy down. No. Dying. As stated, you have a line of shot. Um, he has cover, so plus two to his AC. Um, okay. but if you have con saving throw spells or saving throw spells, I'd say that'd be the best way to go. Um. Let me see. Well, I only have two cantrips. Out of spell slots, and one is Eldritch Blast, the other one's Mortal Coil. Mortal Coil um, required a saving throw, so that would be the one. Yeah. Uh, you do that. Slam him, try to slam him against the wall there. Okay. Well, mm. He'll fail, go ahead and roll a d6. Sweet. Hey, five damage. Okay, that will finally bloody him. Okay. All done. Pay, you're up. Well, uh, oh, God. Can you move up? It, to get onto the lizard, it requires four squares of movement. Okay. So you can get up to the lizard and be ready to hop up onto it. Yeah. yeah. Even though he's flattened? He's flattened, but now it's like a riddled mess of like bone and ugliness. So you kind of have to maneuver through that still. And also remember, the corpses underneath are still kind of creating a pillow. Hmm. Oh, I guess you. Just this hallway is a fucking. Drumgar. This hallway is a fucking horror show. Drumgar <laughs> is covered in other people's blood, his own blood, re blood from <laughs> blood that he had before. <laughs> Pay your up. So, um, am I at disadvantage because of all these bodies? So you have he has cover, but if you use a spell that requires um, a DC, it doesn't matter. So if you have like. Uh, beguiling strands. I think it's too far away, though. But if you have yeah. like something that hits a uh, saving throw, that would be the ticket. Mm -mm. 
Uh, would Bardic Inspiration help Drumgar? Uh, you him? can't see him right now. He's on the other side of the lizard. Oh, wait, does he still have this previous um Bardic Inspiration? I don't think he used it, did he? That's no, me. Enor. Oh, that's Enor. My bad. My bad. My bad. So. Um. Okay. I'm just going to. I'm gonna. Dust barrier and step back. Okay. Drum card a saving throw. We're off to a start. That's one failure. Bay, you're up. You can take a shot. It will um, have disadvantage. That'll miss. Okay. And then uh, in where? Uh, fuck. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Dropping down over top of Drumgar. Or standing, like, oh, stand, standing up, actually. You were already there. It's just you and me, big boy. <laughs> Rip no. apart. Okay, no. fuck yeah. Um, That is a... I picture him rolling up sleeves he doesn't have as yep. he says that. Go ahead and make a melee spell attack. Uh, shit. <laughs> Instead of rolling up his sleeves, he just hikes up his pants. It should be a <laughs> <laughs> it it's, all, it's just all three. Yeah! It's just all three. Uh... Okay. Oh my God. Inspiration. So, you can use your bardic inspiration. Go ahead and roll the d6. <laughs> Okay. Does anybody want to spend their inspiration? Oh my god. Again, it's currently at an 18. Yeah. Null, you're nope. spending it, or Magpie, you're spending it. Who wants to do it? Um, Either or. Um, Volunteer. Know, no, dude. He's, the, he's the president. He's got to protect his comrades. They're looking okay. at his reputation. Perfect. So a 21 will hit. And go ahead and click the damage for Rip Apart. Shot. Getting close. Um, all right. Uh, let me check something here. Ooh, okay. Um, I'm in trouble. So what you'll notice is <laughs> what you'll notice is is that when you cast the spell, um, the spell will alternate to the damage type that will be a vulnerability that the individual has. This individual has vulnerability to cold damage, which means he'll take double damage for the attack. Ooh. Okay. And we are, you are done. He is very close to dead. Aveline, you are up. Uh, on top nope. of the lizard. <laughs> nope. On top of the nope. lizard. Um, alright. Well, let's just try and shoot the guy again. Did you? Oh. Huh? Okay, so we have one more inspiration. Does anybody want to spend it? Oh. Yeah. Okay, go ahead and click the damage there, Stephanie. Come on. All right. Just enough. Yeah. So as the bolt flies forward and slams into him, he kind of lets out a gasp, drops to the ground um, with kind of a just meager and weak thud. Be gone, thrall. In the immediate aftermath. I'm going to start by going through. Null, are you doing anything immediately after complex? Still keeping in a combat sense because we have a dying party member. Yes, uh, he's going to use all his movement to go in here. That'll be four. Right, and then you four. can dash, go four more, and then dash. you can drop down over to here. Yeah. Bay. And that'll be it. Someone help him up. No, it's time. No. Hey, you're up. Um, how much movement speed would it take me to get to? One, two, three, seven, uh, eleven, twelve. So double move. Okay, I have thirty, so that's fine. Yeah, you'd have to dash to get over the lizard, so you won't be able to action heal this turn. 
Or stabilize. Well, I can't heal anymore. I just want to. You can stabilize medicine check. Drum guard death saving throw. This is uh, this is where it matters. Okay, success. Okay. If you'd rolled a one, I would have been like, I have halfway finished your character and you die before that. It's although, a good thing you didn't finish it then. Although, Could you imagine if yeah. it was one of the ones you did finish? Like oh, the twins? Yeah. Oh, what yeah. a waste of a fucking picture. What a waste of a visual. <laughs> what the fuck am I going to do with this? Um, okay, so I'm assuming that um, between Aveline getting across and the uh, and uh, Faye being there, the two of you can go ahead and make medicine checks. Just both of you roll medicine checks. And in where, if they fail, you can try as well. But I'm sure one of them will get a 10. I am something of a healer, I suppose. Okay, nailed it. Yeah, you both work together, uh, pulling scraps of robes off of the dead guys since you don't have a, a healer's kit, and you're able to bind his wounds and stabilize him. He is not healed. He is still unconscious, but he is no longer in a dying state. You take a gander at the mess that you have wrought um, and the uh, horrors that have been displayed here. Mild. You would see that at the end of the hallway, there is a statue. Um, so the north of the hallway ends with seemingly no purpose, rhyme, or reason. Um, and then there are two doors to the south of you. You do know that the room that you were hiding in initially did have a bed. So if you wish to go into that room and set up um, Drumgar on that space, you can take a short rest in that room if you'd like. I think that might be a smart idea. Right, right over here. Right here. Oh. There's already somebody in that there anymore. Oh, there. yeah. So <laughs> it, it, it definitely so was happening. Up over there. It was happening very quickly in Weir, but in the midst of lizard uh, writing, ceiling slamming, lifting up out the way, thrown by cleric spells into rooms, you would have noticed that there is one of those guys dead in bed, and that appears to have been something that the lizard was chewing on prior mm. to your arrival. <laughs> so this appears to have been a recent affair uh, where the lizard kind of turned on whoever that guy is in the bed. Let this be a lesson. Eat your but fucking pet. Me. Huh? No, I'll, I'll stay and investigate this room okay. while they're doing that. So yeah, if anybody wishes to take the course to do a short rest, uh, I will allow you to go ahead and regain short rest abilities that you've utilized. If you wish to use any short rest uh, capabilities that you have, you can use them. I don't know if anybody has anything like arcane recovery or uh, it's no, I get my spells equivalence. But um, a kindness, um, I will award experience at the end of this session, and I will allow you to level with this short rest as if you had completed a long rest. Um, he loves us. He loves us. But I think that yes, we can do that. Children. We can do that off screen um, for sure. Um, I don't think there's really much else that we can kind of close out here. Um, so then we're going to go ahead and call the session a little early, uh, not terribly so, um, and uh, we'll pick up next, not next Tuesday, the Tuesday following next Tuesday. Um, is where we'll pick back up. Thanks for watching those that did, and we'll see you then.